In the name of Jesus, in that verse 3, he says, and he has put a new song in, in our mouths, even praise unto our God. Many shall see it, many shall see it and fear, and shall trust in the Lord. Listen to me, you may have, you may have been written off by men, but this year, in the eyes of your enemies, those who oppose you, those who look down on you, in this year, 2024, they will see what God will do for your life. They will see it and they shall fear. Why will they fear? Because of the miracle that the Lord has put. Because of the miracle that the Lord has done for your life, for your family. They thought you can never become anything. They thought nothing good will come to you. But in this year, 2024, the Lord will elevate you in the eyes of your enemies. The Lord will lift you up before your enemies. And when they see it, they will begin to trust in that God that you call upon. They will see it and they will serve the Lord that you call upon. In the name of Jesus, can you lift up your voice and begin to pray? Lift up your voice and begin to pray. Then in verse 4, verse 4, In verse 4, blessed is that man that maketh the Lord his trust, and respected not the proud, no such as turn aside to lies. Blessed is that man that did what? Blessed is that man that did what? That put his trust in the Lord. It means God cannot call you blessed if your trust is not in the Lord. It means God cannot bless you. God cannot pay attention to your cry if you don't look up to the Lord. The Bible says, ignore the, pr the pride. Those who live in pride, those who live in lies. The Bible says, ignore them and look up to the Lord where your salvation lies. Can you lift up your voice and say, Lord, my trust is in you. Some trust in chariot. Some trust in their horses. But you and I, we will trust in the name of the Lord. Because that is where our salvation is. Psalms 140. Psalms 140. The Lord will deliver you this year from the hands of your enemies. In the name of Jesus. Those who plan evil against you, the Lord will rescue you from their hands. The Lord will set you free. Those who say you will never make it up this year. The Lord will turn the captivity of your enemies. And give you praise. In the name of Jesus. Psalms 140. From verse 1. Psalms 140. Psalms 140. Deliver me, O Lord. From the evil man. Deliver me, O oh Lord, from the evil man. Preserve me from the violent man. There are people around you, they laugh with you, but in their heart is wickedness. They are with you, they eat with you, but every day they carry violence, they speak evil against you on a daily basis. Today, I want you to lift up your voice and tell the Lord, Father, deliver me from the hands of my enemies. Deliver me from evil men who set trap for me, who set trap for, my, for your family. Can you lift up your voice and begin to pray tonight? Do I have people that can pray here tonight? Tell the Lord, every trap they have set for you, the Lord is your deliverer. The Lord is your protector. The Lord is your shield. The Lord is your guide. Tell the Lord this evening, every trap, every evil, they carry against you this year. The Lord, they shall fall into that trap. In the name of Jesus, verse 2. Verse 2. Which imagine mischief in their heart continually. They gather together for war. Do you know there are people when you tell them the truth, they will turn it to war. In Psalms 120 verse 7. He said, I am for peace, but when I speak, they are for wars. But I want to tell you this evening, don't bother about those who tell lies against you. Don't bother about those 
who speak evil against you, who threaten your life. Don't bother about them. Your truth will set you free. Your truth will deliver you. Can you lift up your voice this evening and say, God, deliver me from the hands of every liar. Anyone that is speaking lies, speaking lies every day, criticizing you every day. Can you tell the Lord this evening that this year, 2024, let the Lord set you free from their hands. Ask the Lord to deliver you from the hands of every liar, from the hands of your traitor, from every evil, from every violent man that have set a trap for your life, set a trap for your children, set a trap for your destiny. Tell the Lord this evening, Father, set me free from their evil. Verse 3. Verse 3. They have sharpened their tongues like a serpent. Praise the Lord. They have what? Sharpened their tongue like what? A serpent. Others poison is under their lips. Do you know there are people when they speak, they are like a serpent with a poison. Can you say today, every serpent that is speaking a lie against you, tell the Lord that this evening, release the destroying angels to destroy them this evening. Every liar, every critic around you, every serpent around you, tell the Lord to destroy them this evening. In the name of Jesus, no weapon fashioned against you shall prosper. No tongues that rise against you in judgment shall be condemned. For this is the inheritance of the servant of the Lord. In the name of Jesus, every Egyptian tongue, every Egyptian tongue rising up against you, tell the Lord this evening, cut off every Egyptian tongue, every liar, cut off them from me. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in Psalms 120 verse 1, he said, I cry to the Lord in my distress, and the Lord hears me. Can you tell the Lord, this evening, I cry to you in my trouble. Father, deliver me from every trouble that I'm going through, every trouble, every challenge that my family is going through. Father, today I cry in this altar. Father, set us free in the name of Jesus. Every altar speaking against us, creating every form of disease into our bodies. This year, the Lord shall set you free. The Lord shall set you free from every challenge, from every trouble, from every manipulation of the enemy. In the name of Jesus. Then when you read verse 2 in that Psalms 120, he said, I he said in that Psalms 120, verse 2, he said, Deliver thou my soul from, from, dece from deceivers. Deliver thou my soul from liars, from deceitful tongue. Tell the Lord this evening. Deliver my soul from lying lips, from lying tongues. There are liars around you. They will discover that he has been living among liars. And he has to cry to the Lord to set him free, to deliver his soul from the light from those who lies against him. Tell the Lord this evening, set me free from every liar, from every deceiver. In the name of Jesus. In verse 3, in that Psalms 120. He said, what shall be given unto thee? Or what shall be done unto thee? O thou false tongue. So what profit will you gain if you tell a lie? What profit will you gain if you bear a falsehood? What, what profit, what credit will you have if you tell a lie or you bear false weakness against somebody? What gain shall be given unto you? Then in verse 4. Verse 4. Verse 4, sharp arrows of the mighty with coals of juniper. Verse 5, verse 5, woe is me that I sojourn in Mesach, that I dwell in the tent of Kedna. Can you ask the Lord to begin to separate you from every liar? Ask the Lord to separate you from those who are mocking your life. Ask the Lord to keep you far away, to create a distance between you and them. The Bible says, 
if you have long lived among such people, very soon you will begin to talk like them. You will begin to lie like them. Begin to pray to the Lord. You don't want to be like such people. But the Lord should deliver you today in the name of Jesus. Can you tell the Lord to arise and let your enemies be scattered? Tell the Lord to arise in the north, arise in the south, arise in the east, arise in the west. And let your enemies be scattered. Tell the Lord this evening. In verse 7, he said, I am for peace, but when I speak, they are for wars. Can you tell the Lord, Father, I am for peace. Tell the Lord, I am for peace. Give me peace this year. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Holy Spirit. Be thou be exalted forever. In Jesus' name, we pray. Hallelujah. Amen. If you are glad to be in the presence of God, just rise to your feet and lift up your voice and give God praise this evening. Come on, give God praise. Lift up your voice and bless His name. His word of all our praise. If you can speak in the Spirit, just speak in the Spirit. Li praka para da bados ya de bina mada kosha. Le prada bos sata para das. Jenemo taranita. All right, please. Those who have testimonies, please meet Pastor Chris Daniels for your testimonies. Hallelujah. While we worship God, just lift up your voice and give God praise this evening. Father, we bless your name. Just love the Lord. Kaparado sete prede de bosha. Zete prodo bosha namanda. Speak in the spirit if you can. Mashaka barado sata baradasha. Mente da bosha. We bless you, Lord. You are holy. And forever you are God. Thank you, Lord. We bless you, Lord. You are holy. Holy. And forever you are. We bless you, Lord. You are holy. We bless you, Lord. You are. You are holy. And forever you are. We bless you, Lord. You are holy. We bless you, Lord. You are holy. Holy God.
Say, Lord, we lift 
to the King of Kings. Father, we give you glory. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Turn to your neighbor and say, the Lord will do something new in your life tonight. I'd like you to walk to three people and say, the Lord will do great things in your life tonight. Let's make it more louder. The Lord is doing great things in your life. Father, thank you. Father, thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Let's just lift up our voice and just begin to bless the name of the Lord this evening. Once again, while we're seated, just lift up a voice and just tell the Lord, Lord, thank you. Lord, thank you for this first wings of the spirit of the year 2024 i like you to open your mouth and tell the lord lift up a voice and talk to god lift up a voice and talk to god lift up a voice and talk to god ask the gate of the fountains of life to open for you declare that the deep answer to the deep over your life lift up a voice and begin to come in with the father this evening ask the lord my god on this day oh god unlock the gates of the deep Unlock the gates of the deep. Oh, deep of my answer to the will of the Father. Tonight, ask the Lord to arise over you. Ask the Lord to arise over your house. Ask the Lord to arise over your family. Ask the Lord to arise over your testimonies. Ask the Lord to arise over set words over your life. Lift up your voice and begin to declare, my season has come. My time for fulfillment has come. Now I command the loosening of everything God has ordained for me. I declare today, O oh God, my Father, my God, arise in the name of Jesus. Arise, O oh God, my God. Arise, O oh King of Kings, the immortal God, the invisible God. Arise. 
from the dwellings of your throne. Thou art the King of kings, the Lord of lords. Arise in the name of Jesus. Let me hear somebody talk to God. This could be your moment. Somebody, this could be your moment. I have great assurance tonight that God will meet you at the very point of your need. Thank you, Father. See how far you brought me. Yes, tonight to carry you by the locks of your head and by this meeting tonight let it let turn, turn into, into another, another man. Man. to let to let ask us the Lord Father, Father God, where I am coming from in, in this year, year I, I, I say my son that you that carry me by the locks of your head and as you carry me tonight I take the the best of the Lord Lord, turn me into another man represent myself I represent a city tonight 
by the mandate of God upon my life this year I demand in the name of Jesus my father carry me by the locks of my head and by this Lord turn me into another man that man of glory that man of honor that man of praise of honor carry me Lord Come on. Uh -huh. somebody, somebody this will be the moment, moment you are waiting for and tonight by the hand of the Lord I release that hand into your life I release it into your circumstances right now by fire I command the change of your remains. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Soon I soon God Soon I soon time Soon I Yesu Nasaranani Soon I Yesu Soon I Yesu contented with God's promising words in your life but Bible says the name of the Lord is a strong tower and the righteous run into it and they are saved tonight ask the Lord every contention with God's seasons in this year in my life tonight by the hand of the Lord my God let the conscience cease tonight break every contention break the powers that be break the governance of men that hinders me from seeing that which God has spoken concerning me this year In the name of Jesus please be seated tonight we are glad that the Lord has gathered us again in this new year in the first meeting for the year the first winds of the spirit of this year 2024 and tonight we want to give God the glory, we want to give God the honor, and we want to say thank you, Father, for what you have done. If you're clapping your hands, clap to the Lord. Clap it so loud.
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And tonight I want to thank my father and my mother in the house for this great privilege to stand at the gate of this season to encourage us tonight and to believe the Lord that there will be a performance in each of our lives in the name of Jesus. I just want to encourage us tonight to pray while we behold what God will do. And tonight I want us to talk on a topic that says, call unto me. Somebody say, call unto me. Shout it one more time, call unto me. Shout it two more times, call unto me. Hallelujah. As a word of introduction, I say God in every season does not relate with man according to how we feel about the season and the time. God does not relate with man according to how he feels about the seasons and the time. But God will relate with man according to his program, his ordained program for the season and for a time. Are we together? And I want to believe that in this year, God is going to surprise a lot of us. God will surprise men on your behalf. Because there are men who are waiting to see God relate with you according to their seasons and timing. But God is going to relate with you according to his own season and plans in a time like this. Is somebody hearing me? It doesn't matter whether you came here battered. It doesn't matter whether you came here rejected. It doesn't matter whether you came here confused. It doesn't matter whether you came here and feel no man has been able to embrace you this year. Listen to me, there is a door that the King of Kings, the potented God has made open. And because he has opened according to Revelation chapter 3, Bible says no man can shut that door. God has put the signet of his authority upon that door. So when he opened, no man can shut. And when he shut, no man can open. As a way of prayer this evening, I declare to someone that there is a door that has been opened for you. Only two people are shouting, Amen. I said a door has been opened for you. I challenge tonight anything, any man, whether spirits or demons that stand between you and your open door in this season because only the counsel of the Lord shall stand. I decree your doors are open. There is a season that is coming and that season is before us. That season is not defined by where you are coming from. It is not defined by your family background. It is not defined by how much you have. It is not defined by where you were yesterday. But tonight, I connect you to the seasons of God. God has a plan for you. Somebody say, God has a plan for me. Are we together? Let's look at our Bible to the book of Jeremiah. Jeremiah chapter 33 from verse 1. Jeremiah 33 from verse 1. It said, moreover, the word in that be, let the word of assurance visit me. In the name of Jesus. So the word came to Jeremiah the second time. While he was yet shut up in the court of the prison. The word will find you tonight. Not in the place of your comfort. Not in the place of your joy. It doesn't matter where you are. It doesn't matter whether men have kept you far from the reach of what God has promised you. The word will break through tonight for your sake. 
the word came and founded him in the prison. Are we together? He said, thus says the Lord, verse 2, thus says the Lord, the maker thereof, the Lord that formed it, to establish it, the Lord is his name. He said, call unto me. Call unto me. And I will answer thee and show you great and mighty things. Somebody say great. Shout it seven times great. Say great. 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 Tonight, the Lord will show you great and not just great, but great and mighty things. Say, call upon me. Call upon me. And I will show you. Listen to me. On this mountain, God, God is about to carry you and navigate with your life through a revelation that your life have not seen. How do I know? Let me take you to a portion of the scripture. Take me to the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 2 from verse 9. 1 Corinthians 2 verse 9 as we return back to the scripture. 1 Corinthians 2 verse 9. Let's read together. Great and mighty things. Let's read this together. It said, but as it is written, eyes have not seen, nor ears heard, neither has it entered into the hearts of men the things which God has prepared for those who, are, who loved him. God is about to show us the unspeakable things. The things men cannot describe. The things men have not seen. The things ears have not heard. Those things that have not entered into the hearts of men. So they have no power to imagine those great and mighty things God is about to do in your life. Because their ears have not heard. Their eyes have not behold. Their mind cannot comprehend or think about what God is about to do in your life. But tonight in the name of Jesus, for as it is written, for the Lord has revealed unto the sons of the kingdom the mystery of the kingdom. I decree through your hands tonight, God shall draw out wonders. God shall do mighty things. God shall do greater things. And change circumstances around you. I announce to you. That before the said man enters into this hall, a door of miracle have been opened for your life. A door of healing have been opened for your house. God is not a man that he should lie. Not the son of man that he changes his mind. Are we together? Are we together? Let's look at verse 6 of... Jeremiah chapter 33. I said, this year the Lord will restore you and your family in health and in healing from all the mistakes and the troubles of last year. It doesn't matter whether sickness came by your mistake, whether it was a trouble that brought the sickness to your life. Let's look at verse 6. Verse 6, sir. Behold, I will bring it held. Somebody say held. Say my father. Every in health. Tonight in the name of Jesus. Get out of my life. Get out of my family. Get out of my season. Get out of my doors. I decree according to the word of life. I receive health from the father in the name of Jesus. Show us that scripture, please. He said, Behold, I will bring it health and cure, and I will cure them. Who are the them? The Lord will cure me. If I could not use my body last year, 
if I could not do the things that bring us joy because I was held by a disease, the Lord said this year is my year of cure. Oh, somebody, you're not understanding me. Say, the Lord will cure me. Shout it one more time, the Lord will cure me. I receive the medicines of the Lord. And I declare every component of my body heal. Somebody say amen. He said the Lord will cure them. And will what? And will reveal unto them the abundance of what? Of peace and truth. This year there is going to be an abundance of peace. Peace for he that seek the part of peace. Truth to him that seek the part of truth. Because only by these two elements that the Lord will release shall your life find cure. If you are a man who does not desire the peace of the Lord. If you are a woman who does not desire the peace of the Lord. Or the pathway of truth. The life you will live this year will be the life of calamity. And there is a Lord that has been alone. Beloved, and tonight... The hands of the Lord is not just introducing you into that door. But the hand of the Lord is taking you into that door. You are walking into that door. I said you are walking into that door. I said you are walking into that door. Talk to your neighbor and prophesy to him. Tell him you are walking into that door. Speak to him. You are walking into that door. Somebody say amen. Of captivity in your life. Captivity in business, it is broken. I command your marriage to return. I command your business this year to return. I command your children's school this year. Every disappointment, I declare a return. I declare every hope that has been shattered, it is restored. No more. The weeping days are over. Have you not been told that this year is the year, not the year of promise, but the year of the fulfillment of promise? What has the Lord spoken to you? Tonight I release the hands of the Lord to carry out a quick deliverance in your life. Tonight, every man under a spear, I release God's hand and power now into your life in the name of in you. Receive that hand, losing you. Receive that hand, recovering you. Receive that hand, restoring your life. Hallelujah. No, the number two I said, the desolate land of your life shall be inhabited in this year, 2024. Let's look at verse 13, verse 10 and 13 to 13 of that same scripture. Verse 10. He said, thus says the Lord again, there shall be hard, there shall, there shall be here. There shall be hard in this place, which ye shall, shall be this. Sorry, let me come again. Thou says the Lord again, here there shall be hard, there shall be, there shall be hard in this place, which ye shall be desolate without man and without beast, even in the cities of Judah and in the street of Jerusalem, that are desolate without man and without inhabitants and without beasts. Verse 11. Thus says the Lord of hosts again in this place. The voice of joy. 
Verse 11 now. The voice of joy and the voice of gladness. Listen to me. It doesn't matter what has rendered you desolate this year or last year. This year on your streets, in your dwelling, there shall be joy. There shall be gladness. There shall be happiness. There shall be rejoicing. This year, every form of desolation is taken out of your life. Every form of desolation is taken out of your house. Desolation in your marriage. Desolation in your business. Desolation in the life of your children. Anything that has refused to bear fruit. This year, they shall be productive. Please keep us there. Said the voice of joy. The voice of joy. Whether the devil likes it or not, this year there shall be a voice of joy following you. The voice, please just keep it for me. And the voice of gladness, the voice of the bridegroom, there is a king that is following you. That king is following you because you are his bride this year. This year, the voice of the bridegroom will ensure that his bride is adorned in glory, that his bride is adorned in joy, that his bride is adorned in gladness, because the season of your wedding with the King of Kings, the potented God, has come. And I declare today, everything that disconnects you from tonight, you are connected. And the voice of the bride. Of course, when the bridegroom calls, the voice, your voice must be heard. It's the season of your voice. The voice of them that shall say, praise the Lord of hosts. I pray that this shall be your song this season. Praise the Lord of hosts. Praise the Lord of hosts. Everywhere I enter, it shall be full of praises. Praise the Lord of hosts, because thou hast opened unto me the door that only grace can open. Praise the Lord of hosts, for he has rided on the cloud. He has rided on the wings of the wings and has opened the door that ordinary me cannot open. A frustrated door, but this year the Lord of hosts has made open. This year the Lord of hosts has made a way according to Isaiah 43. He said, Behold, I do a new thing. Shall ye not see it? I will make a way in the wilderness. Why? Because I am the Lord of hosts. He's the Lord of hosts. This year there will be no failure in your house. It doesn't matter whether you believe or not. As long as you are under this covenant, as long as you believe in the God that reigns in this condition, I decree the testimony you least expected, the testimony you never planned for, the testimony you never called for, they shall pursue you this year. They shall happen in your house this year. They shall happen in your marriage this year. They shall happen in your children's life this year. Therefore, I decree, closed doors are open. Somebody you are seated and you are asking, how can this be? Bible says, it's not by mind, not by power, but by my spirit, says the Lord. Today, there is a God that is able to do just what he said he will do. And today, that same God is who I introduced into your life. Paraventure, you came here doubting whether it will happen or not. You came here to see what is happening here. Tonight, on this pool, I bring you to a place of wash. And I declare, everything about you is washed. And a new garment is casted in, upon your life. Life. And I decree a new glory shall settle in your life, shall settle in your marriage, shall settle in your business, shall settle in your academics, shall settle in your office. Everything you believe God this year, I declare it shall happen to you. Say, Father, shout it, Father, let my gate open. Let my gate open. Let the secret storehouse of your blessings open for me. This year, this year, I shall testify. This year, I connect to mercy. I connect to grace. I connect with glory. I connect with new things in my life, in my house, in my office, in 
my business, in my ministry, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 I say hallelujah. This year 2024 shall be for you the year of the fullness of, of promises as spoken of the Lord. Let's look at 14. 14. Let's look at 14. He said, behold, the days come. Listen to me. The days have come. The days are here. Where the secret things that have been kept for your manifestation will be revealed. He said, the days come, says the Lord, that I will perform that good thing which I have promised unto the house of Israel unto the house of Judah. I will perform. Is a performing God. Is a God that said, I'm bring to pass. This year, this year, this year, this year is a year of performance in your life. It's a year of performance. I'd like you to ask the Lord, Lord, perform your miracle where it seems difficult for me tonight. Ask the Lord. I don't know what prayer point you have written. I don't know whether you came to this house with an expectation. Bible says the expectation of the righteous shall not be cut short. Ask the Lord today upon this scripture. Lord, let there be a performance in my life. Let there be a performance in my family. Fulfill that which you have spoken. Lord, it is the year of the fulfillment of promise. Let this year 2024 not shut the doors of for my life. Not shut the door. The gate of governance. The gate of families. The gate of media and entertainment. The gate of religion. The gate, oh God, my father of economy. The, whatever gate, Lord, today, let there be a performance for me. Performance. Performance. You will not see shame this year. I said you will not see shame this year. If you feel like prophesying to three people, walk to them and tell you, you will not see shame this year. I said, talk to them. You will not see shame this year. Oh, some people are jealous. I said, walk to three people and tell them you will not see shame this year. Somebody shout to somebody and say, you will not see shame this year. This year, shame is not part of your garment. Shame is not part of your house. Shame is not part of your marriage. Shame is not part of your business. Shame, shame shall not, shall not find you. And which is why he said, in that Isaiah, in that, in, in, in that same Jeremiah 33, Verse 3, say, call up unto me, and I will answer you. If you want to see God's hands in performance in your life, he said what? He said, call unto me, and I will answer thee, and show you the great and the mighty things. Great and mighty things are not kept on the surface. Great and mighty things are not kept behind the door. Great and mighty things are those things you must search from the Lord. You must ask the Lord to open the realms of the spirit. To open the eyes of your understanding that you may behold and see the wondrous things that God has kept in stock for you. And Bible says there are those things that eyes have not seen. Ears have not heard. Neither has it entered into the hearts of men. So this year is a year of performance. So when you walk into every day of the day, of, of, of this year, every day you are privileged to live, you must ask the day to perform that which God has written concerning you. That is a performance. This year, don't go to the gate of your business or the gate of your school or the gate of your office and, and just behave like a casual man. No, call upon the Lord thy God and he will answer you and show you. You cannot be confused this year. Many instructions from this house, many instructions from our Father in the Lord, 
privileged information, spiritual information, quality information. We cannot afford to be barren of information. We cannot afford to walk in darkness. Though thick darkness upon the earth, gross darkness upon the people, but we have seen a light. Hallelujah. 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 The fourth thing, I said the Lord who is the King of Kings, the potented God, will establish covenant with the day and night this year for you and your house to keep your doors open and to make you reign throughout this year and even beyond. He said as long as my covenant with the day and night remain with the house of David, no man can unseat him from his throne. Listen to me, I said to them in, in Abuja, I said, God intend that this throne that is seated here and the, the throne that is seated on this seat, God intend that it, it leaves the seat and sit upon the heads of men. And men become they that will sit upon that throne to judge matters upon the earth and to call for the things that be not as though they are. Because God kept that seat and that throne for someone because God is in the business of making kings. I said to them, I said, this year is a kingly year. Is a kingly year. You cannot afford to walk like the slave of yesterday. There is a new glory that has been released. Who can behold it? Who can see God's seasons? Who can see what God is saying? The interpretation of what God is doing and can say, Lord, I am here. Create for me deliberately a portion in that which you are doing. I walk this year. As though God has not spoken any word. This year the Lord will answer you. I said this year the Lord will answer you. I said this year the Lord will answer you. I said this year the Lord will answer you. The Lord is commanding. The Lord is commanding an open an opening of a new door in your wilderness this year. What am I trying to say? It doesn't matter how hard your land is. It doesn't matter how unfertile your land is. It doesn't matter whether you have toiled on that same land and have not received anything from within that land. This year, go back and try it again. Because from within that same land, from within that same business, from within that same thing that you have been doing, that seems as if nothing can come out of it. Listen to me. If something good can come out of Nazareth, something good is about to come out of that land. Because there is a door, there is a secret door that is kept, that has been kept from time immemorial. And this evening, this night, this night, the Lord, the Lord will open your eyes to see that which you must touch and make that land productive. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'd like us to rise on our feet as we just pray a few prayer points this evening. Let's look at Psalm number 18 from verse 6. Psalm number 18 as we take the first prayer point. Psalm number 18 from verse 6. Psalm 18 verse 6. The Lord is on my side. I will not fear. What can man do unto me? Can you say my heavenly father? Can you shout it my heavenly father? Shout it one more time my heavenly father. I call upon you this year. To stand on my side. Today oh God. Every form of distress. In my life this year. In my business this year, in my family this year, my father, I invite you tonight to stand at my side. Journey with me this year. Carry me this year. Fire me this year. Open your mouth and talk to God. This year, Lord, you said I shall call upon you and thou shall answer me and show me great and mighty things. Tonight, my father, your word have declared to me that you will stand by my side this year. I decree, O oh Lord of Lord, the King of Kings, the mighty God, arise in the name of Jesus.
Somebody talk to God. If you can't speak in tongues for another minute, just talk to God. Call upon the Lord this year in every areas of your distress to stand by your side. It is too early. It is too early that your life be full of distress this year. Ask the Lord, whatever crosses over last year into this year to torment my life, this year I shut them out because John chapter 10, Bible says, he that does not come through the door, Bible says, is a thief and is a robber. I shut the door over every form of distress. I shut the door over every form of trouble. I declare, you shall not enter into my house, into my my garden. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Psalm 118 verse 5. Psalm 118 verse 5. Psalm 118 verse 5. I call upon the Lord in distress and the Lord answered me. And set me in a large place. Listen, 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 listen. Whether you like it or not, whether you believe it or not, that is a large place God has opened for you. That is a large place. That is a large place. That is a large place. So what is the prayer point? Say, oh Lord, set me and my house this year in a large place of blessing of glory of riches of honor of strength of wisdom this year set me in a large place i refuse the small place the enemy want to drag me in i refuse the small place circumstances want to drag me in i receive my large place i decree break break every limitation be broken it's my year of enlargement it's my year of large place large place in blessing last place in honor last place in riches last place in glory i connect to it lord father thank you lastly lamentation chapter 5 from verse 35 lamentation 5 Lamentation chapter 5. 35. Lamentation 5, 35. No 35. Okay, 55, sorry. Lamentation chapter 3, sorry. Lamentation chapter 3 from verse 55. Lamentation 3.55. Lamentation 3.55. Said, I call upon thy name, O Lord, out of the low word danger. Listen to me. It doesn't matter where the enemy has placed you this year. I don't know the pit that has been created for you. Tell the Lord, this evening, you said, I should call upon thy name, and thou will answer me. Today, Lord, let the pit give up all that he has all concerning me. Ask the Lord, I command the pit to give up my prophetic word. I command the pit to give up every word that releases me and usher me into my destiny. I decree today, my God, let the pit give up every promising concerning my life. Let the pit give up every prophetic word spoken over my life this year I shall not be barren of every word spoken through my life I decree tonight my God that which eyes have not seen ears have not heard I receive by the mercy of God I receive by the hand of the Lord in the name of Jesus I do command tonight my father let a pit give up let a pit give up this year my spirit soul and body Body shall not be trapped. Thank you, Father. Lift up your hands and just bless the name of the Lord tonight. Just bless the name of the Lord. 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 
Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. In a marmarin zumanta da kei. Nuna mani fuskanka. In a marmarin zumanta da kei. Ni zambika ko ina. Ko ina. Ko yaushe. Nuna mani fuskanka. Ko ina, ko yau she ni zambi ka ko ina ina marmarin zamanta da kai nu na ma zirfin ka na ka ina marmarin zamanta da kai. to bless the name of the Lord this evening give him praise that's one of all our praises 
He's worthy of all the glory. He's worthy of the glory. He's worthy of the glory. Just give him praise. Jagada balado sata baradasha. Li pragabo sata baradosha. Mighty God na Marisa parusia tarisa. Redeti barado shara barada biata. Regete berado siata prada la bausha. Just speak in the spirit this evening. Rasa no preti la caprato se. Jarabo siataria dala basita. Lift him high, lift him high. Lift him high, lift him high. Above every other name. Above every other power. Just lift them the name of the Lord. His word of all our praise. His word of all our praise. His word of all our praise. Shagala baradabas. Jagada baladas. Jagada baladas. Jeremendos kemere da bosa. Riba na na manso no mosa. Hallelujah. Di mozi ni ni we. Anasi hallelujah. Anasi hallelujah. Jehovah Mary wo. Oh Mary wo. Di mozi bi ni we. Anasi hallelujah. Anasi hallelujah. Jehovah.
Everybody lift up your voice say Take your name and make your mouth Yahweh Shall we just lift up our hands and worship the Lord everybody Everybody I want everybody on their feet right now Let's give God his glory and praise Oh, For the Lord and tell him that tonight heaven and earth bows before him that even you and your house tonight you bring him praise you bring him adoration tonight let us bless the Lord let's give him glory and praise thank you father thank you Lord can we ask him to arise and sit upon his throne tonight and manifest his glory from one end of the earth to the other and just bless his own name. Let's give him praise tonight. Let's exalt him. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I want us to be seated for a moment. I want all the zonal pastors to stand up. I want all of us to hear this announcement because it's very important. This is the last meeting any zone will come without chattering a boss to bring its people. I don't care from where. It's not about finances. Where there is a will, there is a way. And if you are people of faith, that should be the easiest thing to do. How you get the bosses, I don't know. If you are truly people who have been in the gospel for more than 20, 30 years, and each of you have been in the gospel for more than 20 years, then you are too old not to know the way of the Lord. From February, I want these places filled up everywhere. We are big enough as a ministry to fill this hall in our winds of the spirit. This is not a tower meeting. This is not a Kafanchan meeting. This is a national meeting. The crossover was filled up to the brim to outside. It wasn't because of you, it's because it's the custom that people gather for the crossover. This year, because of the sensitivity of the year, none of your towers, and I won't have the patience to be the ones reminding you, the headquarters will not remind you. If you are truly generals, not just captains of host, then we must see a change. 
Where is the man in charge of Kaduna, the new zone, the new zona leader? Never sit behind again. It's the last time you will be sitting behind. You are trying to get used to being a leader. You must sit in the first three rows at worst. So go and carry your Bible and take your seat where you should belong. The day I come in here and you do that humility, I will displace you for somebody who is a more confident captain. Our captains are powerful. Our leaders are powerful leaders. If you sit behind again, it's not a sign of humility. The captains lead from the front, not from behind. Listen. This state, the Kaduna Zone, is the main host of this meeting. It's your business to make sure that this place is filled up with just the Kazuna Zone people. How you do it, go and ask the coordinator before you. Not the acting coordinator, the full coordinator before you. He will tell you how he does it. But whether the ministry sends vehicles or not, you and your lieutenants must make sure all the footmen of prayer Everyone, everywhere, plus the villager and the rich one that is a permanent secretary in the ministries or commissioners are present here. Come with your generals. Your generals should not join those of them watching us on television because it's like this COVID-19 thing spoiled so many things. People started developing the habit of lying on their beds and watching on television and speaking in tongues in their bedroom, and some of them are speaking in tongues and eating their rice, and chewing gums, and doing other stuff that they will not do normally in the main meeting. And if you are chewing gum wherever you are watching me and eating your rice and drinking a bottle of Coke, can you set it aside wherever you are now if you are watching us on television, and hallow the Lord so that he can hallow you in your room or in the congregation from where you are watching us. I want to welcome all those watching us from all over the world. But please, here at the center, men ought to pray and not to faint. And I would not want us to begin the year fainting. I don't care the situation in the country. God has always protected us from kidnappers and all forms of lawlessness that has increased on the roads. Our members have never died by the hands of those people. And our members have never been kidnapped when they are coming here or when they are going back. Let us not take the grace for granted and start giving the reasons other people give, lest what we fear begin to happen to us. God has shown us mercy. Let us not tempt the Lord. By the next meeting, this place will be filled with our members. We have enough members to fill this hall when we all gather from all over the nation. If the man from Port Harcourt can bring a few Port Harcourt people every time there is a meeting here, then you are not justified at all. Those of you who I won't do that Northern Conference until I see a change. If I see a change in February, we will hold a Northern Conference. Or there is a Northern Conference will be different from this. And I'm not coming to speak to a crowd like this. We are bigger than that. Our cities alone can fill this place if we are doing the right things. Is that clear? Now, I want you to listen while you are standing. Cordelia, can you step forward? I want us to get... Let's give, give me an anointing oil here. I want all Zona leaders to remain standing. Tonight, my spirit is a little bit heavy. <laughs> heavy. I have asked God for grace to minister tonight. Maybe I should be a little bit happy that the place is not overfilled up so that they don't see 
the heaviness in my heart, except for those watching on television. My heart is heavy because of what is happening in our nation. Our nation is going down the drain, and the rulers are pretending that they have not seen anything happening. And unfortunately, some of the key pastors are not. They are just ministering because they are called to minister. You know, the politicians are beginning to tell us to mind our business of preaching. Please, I want to invite the police, the army, whichever arm of people, if you want to arrest me, come and arrest me so that I can rest. Let my mouth shut up. But we live in the same nation. We heal the wounds of these ones that cry. We are feeding people every day because of hunger. And the politicians are saying we should mind our business of praying for the nation. While they keep the people hungry and keep them in pain. And make, us difficult, make it difficult for us to comfort and to strengthen and to show them the way. It's becoming more difficult to teach the poor man to believe in the nation and to believe in the rulers and to hope that God will bring healing. How long shall we teach them hope? And when we start praying violent prayers, even against government, we are arrested for it. Who told you that God cannot still remove governments and put new governments? And I send a warning to the government in the Federal Republic of Nigeria. If they do not begin to attend, since they claim that Nigeria voted them by majority, if they do not begin to attend to the things that are biting this nation and destroying this nation, God in this regime, in this regime is going to intervene. Enough of the killings and enough of clueless governments, governments that are clueless. They don't know what to do. They blame the army, they blame the military, they blame the police, they blame the DSS. I am sure the DSS is giving them enough information. I am sure the military are doing their best. Like somebody said, uh, the man from Bono went on channels I said, how can the military do their work when the criminals have better arms? They use RPGs. They use AK-49. That senator spoke on channels television just a few days ago. I think he's part of or was part of the defense committee. They use RPGs and use latest RPGs, not the colonial ones. And the average soldier and policeman still uses AK-47. When those people, I didn't even know there was an AK-49 until I heard that senator mention it. And the government is always assuring us, especially recently, before they kept quiet. Last year they kept quiet, but this year, that they are doing something about it. How long will the people perish? Now that the Supreme Court cases are over, can the governors take over their, the, 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 the challenge of the security of their states? You have your own state legislator and you have a level of independence. Pass a legislation on security as several governors have begun to do. Raise your own mini police force within the confines of what legality allows you. Many state governors a few years ago were doing that. They had their own armed security. Uh, the, the Southwest started with, uh, what do you call them, Amoteku or whatever. But let it not be heard again that innocent citizens are being slaughtered and you are allowing, disallowing them to hold arms. Unfortunately, I wish I saw all this a few days ago. It was today I saw the Khan chairman's broadcast for Mangu. When you make pastors become so exasperated that they are calling their people to carry arms. Ah. 
Anybody who arrests that man, may God punish that person. And may the Lord remember that person for evil. In the present emotion, no leader will sit quietly and watch the people being slaughtered as if they are arms. And like he rightly said, as if there is no government. The soldiers say they, they have not been given orders. So they stand back and they watch people being slaughtered. Which order do you want? Have you not sworn to protect life? Why are you in the field if it was not to protect life? And I became curious when I watched the channel's television yesterday and I heard that the army either had arrested him or invited him for discussion. I don't know how the channels put it. I don't want to misquote channel's television. But it was there on the headlines. And so I became curious. I said, what did... Mangu can chairman do that the soldiers are arrested. Because I had shot myself. I had, the pains have made me numb. I refuse to watch news. My wife is the one who forces me. Because she has to watch her 10 o'clock channel's news. Because the pain the news brings me. I refuse to watch that politics today. I refuse to watch Arise television. Those are my two favorites. It caused me pain. How long shall we, we continue to talk about the same problem over and over, bringing different brains and ideas? What kind of nation do we have? This is a night vigil where we pray. So it's a, the relevant place for me to express my emotions. How long shall we continue like this? I want the president to hear, President Tunubu. It's time to do something about the security of Nigeria. If Buhari didn't do it because they claimed he was tribal and that he was trying to protect his tribe. You, what are you protecting? You have no cause, you have no reason to fail. You are a work of grace and divine favor. Ordinarily, ordinarily, there is a likelihood that given the mood of Nigeria, you will not be their first choice. But politics is not just the politics of numbers, but it's the politics of money. And people sell their consciences, even when they believe another thing, they vote for another thing because they are hungry and, they be, and because they have been promised 150% more. But it is the work of the government to stop us from having sleepless nights and to live in fear. To the two people, If any, 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 whether religion or tribe or criminals, as people call them, whether they are Christians or Muslims or pagans, it doesn't matter whether they are even part of your community. If they override you again, it is your fault. Don't you have physical watchmen? Why don't you call community meetings all over? and protect one another. The Bokos people must stand with the Mangu people. The Mangu people must stand with the Lantang people. Lantang people must borrow the Mangu people their strength. But beyond that, the Supreme Court has finished all its cases. We will hold the governor of Plateau responsible from now henceforth if there are any more attacks in Plateau. He is the head of security. Can he do something to save his people like other governors in other parts of the nations are doing? The Yorubas formed Amoteku. Do you hear killings again like before?
Plateau, Kaduna State, Borno State, they must form their own defenses. The killings must stop. How can we sing the Lord's song in a strange land? How can we rejoice? When by tomorrow morning, we'll be going for so many burials. The priest is given the honors, whether they be Muslims or Christians. They are the ones that bury the people. And they see the tears of the masses. What kind of government do we have? As far as I'm concerned, up to today, we don't have a government yet. The government has not settled down. The government needs to settle down. We don't know what the... Right now, we are clueless as to the direction of the Tunubu government. It needs to begin to make us understand what is its direction, what are its economic policies, what is really its security strategy. At least the Buhari regime pretended they had a strategy. We don't even know the strategy of this government. That's why I said you will forgive me. You want to call me for questioning? I am willing to come anywhere, any part of this country. But we are tired. Enough is enough. Somebody called me and said, you leaders are shutting up. God will punish all of you. You priests are pretending nothing is happening. You stand there and call for our offerings. But nobody is speaking for the dying. And I kept quiet. It's not as if we don't carry the burden. And it's not the threat of the government we are afraid of. We just want to be... What do you call it now? We want to be... We keep trying to tell ourselves it will be better tomorrow. We want to be cautious, lest you speak and tomorrow things changes and you are asked to apologize. On Christmas Day, a holy day, more than 200 were killed and so many villages were burnt down. And we thought order was coming. And every other day now, the numbers are being added. And it's not just in Plateau. In Katsina, there are cases that are not announced at all. Who will cry for the dying? In the South, they are going to accept kidnapping as a normal thing now. It's business. If the government is a living government, it must do something. Otherwise, let God raise a government that will do something. That's my cry in tonight's vigil. If this government, we pray for power for them. We pray for grace for them. But we give them three months. If they don't do anything, let God in heaven do something. And if anybody believes the voice of the prophet, let them shout, Amen. Amen. But please, Plateau government, we must not hear anything from, don't go on television making announcements. What plans have you put in place for the security of your people, whether they be Muslims or Christians, including Fulanis? What plans have you made for their security? Roll them out. The next broadcast you make must be a broadcast of marching order, rolling out your own apparatus. We pray for you. We want to see results. Don't say because you are from Mangu local government. They will think it's because of your local government. Are the Mangu people not human beings? Enough is enough. When that can I pray no harm comes to that can chairman. Otherwise, the government will have to tell us how many other religious leaders have they arrested that are non-Christian who have spoken worse things. They have even spoken the overthrow of the government and threatened the lives of serving ministers. Who has arrested them?
They want proof. They should go into the internet and read some of the religious platforms and hear what they are saying about the government. government. How many of them have, they be, have been arrested? Tonight I just feel like crying. My heart is bursting. There is pain inside of me. I want my voice to be counted in heaven as one who protested. The killing must stop. I ask grace for tonight because my heart is broken. Every government put there by God is supposed to be an answered prayer. And I want to ask, is the Tunubu government an answered prayer or a curse? Somebody needs to answer that for us. Or the government needs to answer. Are they answered prayer for Nigeria or a curse? I want the Tunubu government to answer that one for us. Are you a blessing or a curse? Should we look for another savior? Six months is more than enough to settle down. Nobody is pushing your lives anymore. Give the army marching orders. Give them a deadline of one month. If they don't perform in that one, give them the instruments. Give the Air Force, give them the instruments. Give them one month. If they don't perform, remove them. Put another person that will do the work. Declare a state of emergency on crime and terrorism and see whether things won't change. That is my own solution. It's time to declare a state of emergency. We have prayed. But if you want God to declare a state of emergency and that's the one you prefer, we can make that happen. Just give us the challenge and see. Then we will declare our own line of action and our prayer patterns. And we will see whether in a hundred days, and I mean a hundred days from now, whether God will not, will not bombard this nation. That's my challenge tonight. I want all of us to stand up on our feet. My friend, can you take over the mic, the man you put to on that piano? You are Yahweh. You are Yahweh. You are Yahweh. You are Yahweh. You are. 
I want us to begin to ask the Lord. And we are starting with a very violent prayer. Father, all over the country and the nations of the earth, where the wicked and crime and insecurity seems to be getting out of hand, arise and release from the four ends of the heavens your horsemen with their swords and in the name of Jesus begin to break the heads of Leviathan. Can you begin to ask the Lord to break the head of Leviathan? The heads of Leviathan in Nigeria, in Nigeria, in Africa, in the nations of the earth. Father arise, break, break the head of Leviathan. The power of tradition, the powers of darkness, break the head of Leviathan and destroy the spirit of Baal. That is what I had God say we should pray against tonight. My friend, open your mouth and pray. Tonight, I'm not telling you to pray in your heart. Open your mouth and say, Oh God, arise and save us from the destruction that is come upon the nation and break the head of Leviathan. Father, break in the name of Jesus. Father, break the heads of Leviathan in Nigeria. Today, let your spirit open up the spirit realm and the physical realm. Go after the head of Leviathan. And Lord, the human beings that represent him, from government to the marketplaces, to the places of tradition and religion, whether Christian, Islam, traditional religion, every human being, that represents the spirit of Leviathan. Break their heads. Break their power. Stop them from one end of the earth to the other. My God arise. Break the head of Leviathan. Everybody raise up your hands. Can you shout, oh God, arise. Tonight in the name of Jesus. Begin to turn the battle to the gates of the enemy. Our Father and our God. Tonight we release a decree over the nation of Nigeria. Let the battle turn around to the gates of the enemy. Let it begin to devour them by day and by night. In the morning overthrow them. In the night, bury them. But God arise. For the sake of the blood, innocent blood that is being shed. Let your enemies be scattered. Break the heads of Leviathan. Can you tell the Lord tonight, we enter into covenant with you. To go after Leviathan in Nigeria. And all the works of Leviathan. And all those that arouse Leviathan. All those that empower the actions of Leviathan. Every human being that carries wickedness in his lips, that plants iniquity in the name of Jesus, let the earth trap them. Let the heavens trap them from now henceforth. Let the Lord rain down fire. You came from heaven to earth to show us the way from the earth to the cross. My death to pay from the cross to the grave, from the grave to the sky. Lord, I lift your name. Came, you came, you came from heaven to earth. 
of us to go on our knees now. Everybody on your knees. Can you tell the Lord tonight, Father, you gave us the theme for this year, King of Kings, the potented God. Today we want to invite, invite you to enter into Nigeria as a king over the kings of this nation. From President Tunubu down to the local rulers, traditional rulers, governors, local government rulers. You are their king of kings. Set your throne now and release the redeemer, the messenger from heaven. Release the spirit of the savior in the name of Jesus to begin to scatter the horns that are risen to call Nigeria, to destroy Nigeria. Scatter them, whichever form they take, including the horns of corruption, including the horns of corruption, of stealing, our God arise, enter now, destroy their covenant and scatter. These three months, show that you are the God of heaven and the earth. Shake up everything in this nation. If there will be trouble, create trouble. Lord, if there will be peace, create peace. But by whichever way, you will release us to move forward. Whether by war or Lord, by, 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 by peace and wisdom. By a new decree, in the name of Jesus, scatter the spell over this nation. Can you ask God to break the spell? Tell the Lord on our knees we plead. Can you tell the Lord also? We repent for our iniquities. We repent for everything that has gone wrong. Let him have mercy. 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 Father, have mercy. We don't know how you do it. Father, open the graves and let the spirit of them that have been killed for their sake, let your spirit seek vengeance, establish vengeance. We set up a new pattern. Walk through this Nigeria and set every altar that is drinking blood. Set it on fire. All the traditional altars drinking human blood. Enjoying the gory sins in the name of Jesus. The Lord rebuke you, Satan. The Lord rebuke you behind those altars. The Lord rebuke you where you dwell. The Lord rebuke you in your place of sacrifice. Let the fire of God catch up with you there and burn you out. Let the spell over Nigeria be broken. Oh God, if the government does not have a solution, give them a solution. Become the solution. But overthrow these statues of darkness and destroy them. Father, defend the nations, defend the tribes, defend innocent people on our streets from the south, west to the east. Lord, from the northeast to the northwest, Father, defend innocent people to the central north in the name of Jesus. Every strange thing that is bringing everywhere, let the earth begin to fight them. Today we say, curse be unto the earth if it does not come to our aid. O earth, we call you to go to war and stop this darkness. Father, if the hand of man cannot do it, let the hand of the Lord do it. Can you tell the Lord, have mercy. Let our sins not stop you. Have mercy for our sins. Have mercy for every wrong we have done. Have mercy, Lord. How long? Eight years. And now another eight years is coming. How long? Have mercy. Have mercy. Have mercy. Have mercy. Have mercy. Have mercy. 
Have mercy. Have mercy. Have mercy. Can we ask God for mercy? Thank you, Father. Shall we rise up on our feet? Heaven and earth adore you. Angels bow before you. You are beautiful. You are beautiful. Heaven and earth, heaven and earth adore you. Angels bow before you. You are beautiful. You are beautiful. Oh, oh, oh. oh, oh, oh. first part of this meeting. The government must not allow tribal militias. Otherwise, let every tribe take a cue from what has begun this year with the government of the Federal Republic and start registering their own militia to defend their own people. I want to repeat I join my voice with the voices of them that are asking the government, not on religious basis, not to allow tribal militias. Otherwise, let all the tribes in Nigeria take a cue 
and start the tribal and register in the CAC by right their militias and begin to off function officially because of the insecurity in defense of their lands. So I want to call upon government to review tribal militias. And I'm sure the government knows what I mean by that. I've not mentioned any tribe, but we know it has begun. The examples have been set in one state of this nation. And the government must do something about it. Otherwise, every tribe now has a right to start its militia in their thousands so that one tribe will not become the next police force over Nigeria to assist the police in checking crime. That tribe will operate partially. If I be the servant of God in this nation and a leader in the, and the government of this particular ministry is going to be decentralized. The vision pioneer's office will create structures, central structures, to oversee the whole ministry. And the reason for that is to carry the whole ministry through a new orientation of leadership. So that discipline can be restored, vision can be restored, grumblings can be brought to the lowest, all kinds of perversions that have started taking place in the ministry can be cut off completely and spiritual order and spiritual and physical order will take over the ministry. For a season, the office of the vision pioneer will supervise all matters. So every interaction with the ministry officially should be directed to the office of the vision pioneer. I didn't say the vision pioneer. Don't come to me. But the office of the vision pioneer is taking over the administration of this ministry. The office of the administrator remains until God brings us an administrator. A man after his own heart who will set like the messenger Jesus Christ who will set the path of the ministry straight and establish statues and bring faith and hope and revelation and strength and confidence to the people. Can you raise your hand, your right hand, and tell the Lord in the name of Jesus, govern us from heaven. Set your thrones in the vision pioneer's office and lead the watchmen of the earth into the new place you have ordained. That this year, you alone will be our governor and you will take glory as our administrator. We crown you today as the administrator of throne room ministries. Take over now and glorify your name. In Jesus' name. Can somebody wave and say amen? amen. By the next winds of the spirit, the structure set up and how it operates will be announced. But all correspondences should be from now henceforth to the office of the vision pioneer. Our administrative office will remain the administrative office. Where my office is, is still a no-go area. My office will shift to the administrative office. So everything under there, the whole secretariat from Thursday, we start functioning under the vision pioneer's office, the whole secretariat. So the structure is going to change. If you know you are in discipline, don't come to that office because the rod of the vision pioneer will be waiting for you there. If you know you love the Lord and you've always want righteousness, you are welcome. We are going to make papers in our structural reassessment. I'm inviting all staff of the ministry, staff of the headquarters and the sections and sectors that we have for a meeting with the vision pioneer at 12 o'clock for one hour on Monday. It's going to be a prayer where the new structure will be spelled out. 
and all staff will be made to sign an undertaking that they will move by the new winds of the Lord or they have a choice to resign and if you don't resign the thing you will sign you will have signed your resignation already there that the ministry has a right to allow the wind carry you away and we will not be legally binding if you break the rules of this ministry. We want to restore discipline to all departments because right now the nations of the earth look up to us. And we must now begin to deliver, especially in this time when the heavens and the earth are under challenge and the nations of the earth are being shaken by evil. There is a need for the watchmen to be reborn. There is a need for strength to be restored in the church. There is a need for discipline. And we want to be ready when Jesus comes back. We want to be ready. We want to be ready with an army that is strong and faithful, whose eyes are set on the Lord. If you agree with me, can you say amen to that? So a lot of changes are going to take place in this month. I had given that warning from the end of last year. There are changes are taking place in the first three months. And that is why our general workers retreat and staff retreat and all leaders in the nation's retreat will be taking place from April the 8th. Am I right, Kim? Is it the 8th or the 7th? Uh -huh. Seventh, please write it. All workers of this ministry, April 7th, we are holding a one week retreat for seven days. And we will stay before the Lord, and the Lord will set a new direction and raise a new army. All over the nation, all our workers, whether you are an administrator, whether you are whatever you are holding there, our officers must begin to clear those seven days. It's going to be a day of power. It's going to be a season of praise. It's going to be a season. We will claim the tower together. We will cry upon the Lord and we will not leave until a new fire comes down. Every day, we will cry for the nations of the earth. We will cry for our own sins and ourselves. We will cry for the future direction. We will cry over the promises of God. So this is the first thing that is going to happen. Notice that is coming from the Vision Pioneer's office. To anybody who is a staff of this ministry, if you don't come and you don't have a genuine reason, consider stepping down all across the nation. We believe God's grace will be sufficient for us. I repeat, if you don't come and you don't have a sufficient good reason for not coming, consider stepping down because we are coming here for a baptism of fire. We are going to meet our God for a new impactation. A new empowerment for ministry. So it will be taken seriously. If any tower coordinator and their escorts don't appear during that retreat, I don't care what is your position. Including those who are in government. If you can take excuse, take excuse. Even if it's for three days, take excuse from your office. You take excuse for other reasons. Take excuse. And let's go through the cloud, the baptism that the Messiah carried Moses through and qualified them to enter into Canaan. And let's see whether God will begin a new calendar with us. Is that notice clear to everyone? If it is clear, wave your hand and say amen to that. So all zonal leaders, go and enforce that and start emphasizing that to all your zonal, not just zonal, pastors. But every tower leader and their esco, whether they are in the bushes or they are in the cities, we will feed you here free of charge. Accommodation is free. Just bring yourself here and bring your Bible and a fat notebook. Because you are going to write a lot and you are going to see a lot. And we're going to spend time with the Lord. 
and ask the Lord to meet us afresh. Somebody say, Amen. The 100 man prayer team and all the other prayer teams led by the youths and other sectors in this ministry that operate on the ground here will meet with me at 1 o'clock. 12 to 1 is with staff. Then 1 to 2 is a special prayer time and direction for all our praying people who are part of the intercessory teams that pray for the nation and pray for the nations of the earth, including those who do the 24-hour watch, whether on the tower or on the grounds. I will meet with every one of you. So pass it to the pastors that are not here, that are in Kafanchan, and let them know. One o'clock, we'll be meeting and shouting hallelujah together. On Monday, this Monday, two days from now, we will meet. And it's important that we all be there. That is to tell you we're announcing a new season. When we enter into February, the atmosphere in this camp is going to change. You have deliverance cases, start bringing them back again. God will be here to bring deliverances. God will be here to heal. We said this year, what is our motto this year? To heal and to what? And to serve. Everybody say to heal and to serve. Everybody say to heal and to serve. And we are going to be using that tower more than ever before. More than ever before. We are going to make a special generator to operate the lifts only so that the leaves can keep taking us up and down throughout those seven days. So if we have to bring a smaller generator in order to cut the cost of fuel, since Nepal is not always there, we will do that. But those seven days, we will wait until God visits all of us, until everybody gets a revelation, everybody gets a word from the Lord, and the Lord restores back our grace and our strength. The last major announcement with which I'm taking off for another few minutes, we will pray and we'll close this meeting. We will take a thanksgiving, a first fruit thanksgiving. Have you taken your offering for today? Were you waiting till 10 o'clock? Because I came at the time I should come. And I've always given a warning to the planning committee, 9 o'clock, I take over. Were you waiting till 10 o'clock? Or you were waiting for my own money? It's possible. Since you must have faith that my money must be big in the offering so that you can change the game. Now, let's not miss that next time. It's the last warning. Let's hallow the timings of the Lord so that I can take over when due and finish when we should finish. When I come, don't expect me to stay for up to 15 minutes before I mount the altar. That has been the tradition. So whatever you are doing, rush them before I come. I'm told this meeting was supposed to have started by 7 o'clock. So by 9, you should be ready. Well, you won't rob us of our thanksgiving. So you will take a thanksgiving separate from your offering. So whatever you already planned, the coup you planned against God with your offering, keep it. You will take a first fruit thanksgiving. It's called the first fruit to sanctify the year, to open the gates of the year. And if you have to send it by uh, whatever directly, these days electronically people pay monies. You can send it electronically, but we're going to take a listing. But listen, because I'm about to make a very, very important announcement. I was praying just three days ago. I just returned from a trip from Tanzania. I want to thank all of you who prayed for me. Uh, there were those in Lagos who joined me praying for me in Tanzania. Uh, there were others on the ground there who knew I was away. 
and they were sending me text messages and those from Kaduna assuring me that the Lord was with me and speaking words of encouragement and prayer. I want to thank you all. The meetings in Tanzania went very well. It was a national meeting of bishops and of the fivefold ministries, prophets, teachers, evangelists, apostles, and they all came. They actually came. The hall was filled up from different parts of the nation, from the northeast, southwest, and central of Tanzania. The whole hall was filled up, and God did a mighty work by himself, and to him be all the glory. I want to thank you for the prayers, and I want to thank you for the support. Let's pray for other nations this year. My orientation this year is a crusade orientation, where an army is raised for the Lord, an army. An army of people who sigh, cry, and harvest. They sigh, they cry, and they harvest. Both the harvest of soul and physical multiplication in every ramification. It's a year when God is breaking doors and creating new doors for his church. Doors of elevation. And I'm conscious of the divine commission for this year. And I intend to fulfill it. So please, we need to make the watch strong. We need to make prayers become stronger. Because we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers and spiritual wickedness in heavenly places. I want all of you to rise up on your feet for a moment. Today, for every one of you that is here, you have an advantage. Any host of darkness that has prepared against you this year, I release a ball of fire from heaven, from he, from the name of Jehovah that is called the consuming fire, from the bowels and the heart of the Lord. I release a ball of fire against that host of darkness in Jesus' name. I didn't hear you shout, Amen. Therefore, when you step back home, a host of angels will start fighting battles on your behalf. They will start clearing grounds on your behalf. Your testimony will change from tonight. Receive help from heaven in the name of Jesus. Listen, this morning when I was praying, and God had to say, Farabale, slow down. Don't go doing it. I saw a literal revelation of God releasing messengers from north, east, west, south, all over the world. Messengers. He was pouring them in, in their flood as a host of heaven. And they were coming to the aid of the church. Wherever anyone was stuck, they pulled that person out of that pit. Today, I release you to connect with your help. And I rebuke anyone that stands in your way. Can you say, Lord, I receive my help. And I rebuke everything that stands in my way. In the name of Jesus, be destroyed now. Be cut off now. I receive grace for grace. I receive help from heaven. I didn't hear somebody shout, Amen. Listen. It's a year of great, great grace. When God will put his hand under your armpit and he will host you upon his shoulder and he will pull you out from every sticky environment. I release judgment against your sticky environments in Jesus' name. And that's why tonight I'll be anointing some of you that are caught up in sticky environments. And you will go out and start rejoicing and celebrating. Wherever you enter, hell will break off. Every camp that has conspired against you from today, we take power away from them. They will not prosper against you in Jesus' name. Any part of your life that is not clear, the Lord will open and unlock your gate for you. 
Can you wave to the Lord and shout amen? amen. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Any pit that has taken you captive, I speak against that pit in the name of Jesus Christ. Ada, that is why I ask you to come. Come and kneel down here. Any pit that has set itself against you this year to steal your joy and to torment you from wherever they are hidden, whether by extended blood or by environment or community, I break their power to break your life in Jesus' name. I release you from the demand of that pit in the name of Jesus Christ. Receive grace to overcome throughout this year and to survive the year in the name of Jesus Christ. Can everybody who agrees with this prayer for their life shout amen. You may go back to yourself. Listen, I saw strange pits demanding the lives, strange pits, they were not set by the Lord, demanding for the, for the lives and the destinies and the prosperity of a number of people. And I heard God that in this vigil, those pits will be wiped out. So today I command those pits to begin to lift away from your life I rebuke their dwellings in the name of Jesus. I didn't see somebody wave and shout, Amen. You may be sit seated for a moment. I release this wave of the Spirit to all the nations of the earth that are connected. Every pit that has been planned, as you step out from now henceforth, the Spirit will shift that pit from you. The one that planned it shall be eaten by it. If you are around the nations and you are here tonight and you agree with this prayer, can you shout a thunderous amen? Listen, three days ago, I had the Lord knocking at my door. And I had him. I was praying and I was asking for revelation. Because I still want God to straighten me <coughs> concerning the year. I've been ministering throughout the last quarter of last year, non stop. Entered this year ministering to the first week. And second week, and my body was becoming physically weary, and I was breaking down. And I needed a little withdrawal to straighten my spirit and have clarity of purpose. And while I was groaning about that, my mind is always working. I started asking God, For the Abuja meeting for February 9th, Abby. February 9th. Is it February 10th? I thought it is 9th in the evening. It starts at sundown. I don't know where you are reading your Hebrew calendar from. It's 9th. It's February 9th in the evening. So if you have been announcing 10th, you will be meeting on the second in the evening. And second is not our covenant day. It's February 9th in the evening, sundown. And the whole day of 10th up to evening is the first day. Then the second starts from the evening of that 10th or the night of that 10th into the next day. The whole of that next day will be second. Is that clear? That's how the Hebrew calendar runs. So go and change your announcements. If you have published it somewhere, 
Go and look at your whole calendar so that you don't confuse people during the announcements. I was asking God to give me that day and send a word for the nation. Let there be a chauffeur from heaven. Let a messenger make an announcement. That was what I was doing. When I had, I felt the Spirit of God pat me and say, You are praying and you are not seeing clearly. And I said, Lord, what is happening? Have you not noticed that that day is the beginning of Ada 1? Not the month of Ada, but the month of Ada 1. If there is an Ada 1 in the Hebrew calendar, then there must be an Ada 2. That's how the calendar goes. You don't have another two, except if it is a leap year or a special year. Listen, I repeat, except it is a leap year. In a leap year, in the Hebrew calendar, I'm not talking about Gregorian calendar, you can pray against all the sun gods that will rise and demons that will rise. But in the Gregorian leap year, God always has surprises of a shift and a leaping. I don't know how to. <laughs> God catapults you by many years into your next place. Did you hear what I said? There is an acceleration that is not normal. And God said you will be entering into the doorway in other one of the catapulting and that is what tonight is dedicated to because not all of you will be there that February 1st that we will be entering into that that is when the catapulting begins catapulting begins God takes you hosts you on his chariots with him and fly over you know I kept talking about this flyover during the crossover or during the retreat. I said, God is going to carry people and jump over and recover years that have been stolen and repair bridges and promote them many steps higher overnight. Today, I release the Spirit of God to begin to find you where you are seated and where your house is and begin to bring you out from the shadows and prepare you to fly over. I didn't hear somebody shout amen. And today, I curse the spirit that stands against your double promotion this year. Because this year is not a normal year. It's meant to catapult you. Double promote you. The signs were there last year. But this year is the manifestation. Because Everyone who loves the Lord and fears the Lord will be sitting on a special throne this year. By the end of this year, rejoicing. I release that power to rest upon you where you are seated. I release an enablement in the name of Jesus. Can you wave and shout amen? And the Lord said, the shofar, the sound of the spirit, that carries the leap year begins on the first of Adawan. And I said, Lord, what shall we do? He said, my son, because you are talking about my completeness this year, my ability to do anything I want to do, you will declare a seven-day fast that unites the lives of people with the people with my own life. And on the first day of that fast, they will eat what is called a family communion. They will break bread. If your children are overseas, you will call them, pray with them, whether they are born again or not born again, whether they are drunkards or not drunkards, because they came their priesthood is from your loins because they came from your loins. You will call them, 
You will pray over a bread and a wine with them. You will make them eat and drink by force. It's a leap year. So that God can enclose them. God can embrace them. God can cast a mantle upon them for jumping over. So that they can be secured. And I said, Lord, what? He said, because that which he had promised, he will do this year for the church. It doesn't matter the weather. It's not going to be subject to government weather or no government weather. It's not going to be subject to the laws of nations. This is the word of the universal God, the creator of the heavens and the earth, the king of kings and the potentate, the only potentate God. said, seven days. And God began to dictate for me the prayer items, which I have written and sent to the media department to host after tonight on all our platforms. But it starts on the 10th. I thought we would start on the 9th. God said no. You will start on the tent. But on the tent, midnight. No, sorry. On the tent, early morning, which is the night, midnight. Today started twelve zero one. This morning, is that so? By 12 midnight, you will start. And from that 12 midnight, you must not break your fast before 3 o'clock. It's not 12 o'clock. 3. When the evening watch is being gradually introduced, the last watch of the day is being introduced, of the day watch, you will break your fast. From 3 o'clock to 9 o'clock, you may eat. Between 9 and 12 again, midnight, you will prepare to close your mouth if you are not asleep yet. But from 12 midnight to 3 again, so it will be counted from 12 midnight to 3. 12 midnight to 3 for seven days. The midnight hour. If you can blow a shofar every night, blow a shofar at 12. To announce your day, the resurrection of your life. But that first day, it must be a family fast. The instructions will be there. It must be a family fast. The instructions will be there on our website, our official website, and all our platforms. No platform must be left alone. Don't tell me you send them to the platform and they are not on the website. The internationals go to our websites, not our platforms. We have women platform, we have youth platform, all our advertisement go there, but they even go into YouTube. Sometimes we leave the main web, the main page where the throne room is. This must be hosted there. I've already started sending that announcement to friends. And I heard the Lord say, we must do that. And the instruction says, break bread in worship on 1st of Adar or 10th February. Asking God to build an enclosure around you and your family. 
and shot you in himself throughout this year. The instruction will be there, clearly. What I'm reading is already given to them. They will put it there. You will ask God to shut you inside of himself because of the things, the waves that will be happening all over the world. There's, this year is a year of waves. Plenty of noise, waves, movements all over the world, including Nigeria. Plenty of shaky shaky. So if you are hidden in Christ, what does the Bible say about your life? That your life is hid. Eh? Is hid where? Eh? In Christ with God. So you are hidden inside of Christ with God. This year, by covenant, you will deliberately ask to be hidden from the waves that are coming. With your own mouth, you confess your salvation. So with your own mouth, you will confess your salvation. You will confess that you are giving God free powers to scatter any challenge that comes your way this year. To embrace you, enclose you, cover you, and fight for you outside. Do you understand that instruction? That's what God is commanding. And that is how God will collect the license from you to kill anybody who tries you and to fly over bridges with you and make you cross over those things that you are not strong enough to protect yourself from. How many of us understand what the Lord is saying? La, la, la. La 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 ya bergen du ka la surai Yesu la la fast. I mean, sorry, not the breaking. During that communion of that first day, you will ask the Lord to graft you into the mysterious manifestations of Adonai. Into his program into his mysterious manifestation. I'm using the exact words he gave me. When he drew my attention to it and commanded it. So it's a commanded fast that the Lord is commanding. It's not optional for any throne room member. I don't care whether your church is fasting 300 days. On that day, you will start it specially you will follow that pattern for the seven days. If you are over-religious and you say you had already started another pattern, you are not changing it because it's the same thing, uh, may your religion save you. But this is a does say the Lord. The fast he gave us for 21 days, we finished it already. But as you know, each time we fast 21 days, the rest of the year the Lord chooses the fast that secures us. That was what we did last year. And did the Lord do great things for us? Yes, he did great things for us. He showed us mercy. I didn't know it would come so soon, but I had it clearly. When he opened my eyes to the mystery of the month of Ada, Ada begins the mysterious manifestations, even over Israel. The physical Israel is going to feel a lift during those two months of Ada. There is going to be something and a lot of changes and manifestations will begin 
from that first of Ada to the second Ada, they carry the covenant of the leap year. And God will start digging new foundations for Israel, breaking old foundations, opening doors that could not be opened, decide the results of the war in Gaza during those seasons. It's a mysterious thing that God is about to do that is bigger than us. And that is why I pray that everybody who is sensitive to the Lord should be here for this vigil tonight because it will take an army to answer this cry. But you and your family, whether they are born again or not, for your own righteousness, Levi, even when he didn't know God, break bread with Melchizedek while he was in his stomach. And for those of you who don't know, Levi, before God touched him and called his family out, was a very terrible man. They used to plan wickedness together with Reuben and others. They did terrible things. Go and read your Bible. It was not all about priesthood. But even when they were unformed, their destiny had not taken shape. Abraham ate holy communion with them by force. Now, that is a mystery God is reenacting. If it is your blood, even if you were an unbeliever, plead with him so that his portions can be kept this year. Because there is a mysterious wind that is going to blow. This year is a mystery. And grabs the mother by the neck and they are still jumping up and the baby will change place. Does all kinds of shakara. Knowing that it cannot fall from the hands of the mother. Ah! The Lord will do greater things for you this year. So you will ask God to graft you into the mysterious manifestation of Adonai. I heard that voice. I wrote it as I had it. I used the names he used when he was talking to me. And he said, you will proclaim it and the proclamations will start from tonight. Even before the day is come. So that the blessings of the Lord can start up an army from tonight's meeting. Somebody say amen. And he said on that day or throughout the, pray, the, the fast, you will be praising and praying either standing or sitting on the ground or lying on the floor. Do as the Spirit commands you, but not sitting on a chair and just be nodding your head like that. No, 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 no. You are either standing, kneeling, lying, bound, doing any other thing, but not sitting on the same chair with the potentate God. Because you, the king of kings will be seated on his throne watching. You are either standing and lifting all your hands or you are sitting on the floor or lying on the floor or doing any other thing else. But not sitting. Two, you must not be lying on your bed. You must leave that bed. Some of themselves if your family didn't fast with you, they don't need to break bread. But the first one, all of them must be grafted with you. So that every prayer you pray will affect them. Will affect them. I even had a chorus, two choruses I had to study fast. I suggested them there. One with what a mighty God we serve. Hallelujah. On the first day, at least everybody knows that one. And if you don't know that one, there was a second one. How great is our God. Sing, Sing with me. How great, great is our God. Oh, sing how great, how great is our God. That's the 
the second song an option I was given. You can sing every other song that day, but one of these two must be there as one of the songs. Covered. I had that one. That is why I'm telling you the one I had. I'm a very religious person when it comes to hearing. I follow because God's foolishness is always wiser than my own wisdom. And I would rather play the fool in those occasions and be called religious than disobey. And then you can begin to break bread and pray. And then the prayer items are the following since you are here. Number one, A. Let the gates of the deep open to send helpers. So call forth helpers. You've already done the praise at the beginning. That is after you have broken bread. Though. It's after you have broken bread, you will start these prayers on the first day. Not before the breaking of bread. The breaking of bread opens the communion. And the first prayer item is let the gates of the deep open to send helpers. Help us from the ends of the earth. Help us from the ends of the earth. That means many of us, God is going to break walls and make us go international. International in ministry. International in orientation. International in business. International in the currencies you receive. You know, somebody was accusing me of saying that they are going to get international currency this year. They are going to collect international currency. As if it was my fault. And the person got the international currency. And that is why the person is not here tonight. Say, sir, you said they will give us, they gave me international currency. I said, so I have seen by making you collect international currency. He said, no, sir. I'm just telling you the good works God has spoken. God spoke it in the crossover. That every one of us will handle international currency. She's already handling her own. Did you hear what I just said? It sounded light like joke. I decree this year, something international will connect with your life. And you will rejoice in the blessing of the Lord this year in the name of Jesus. I didn't hear somebody say amen. Help us will come from the ends of the earth. You will help us from the ends of the earth. You will call them forth. One B. Break the heads of Leviathan like we started doing tonight. In the nations before it destroys us all. I heard God say so. Because Leviathan in his hydra headed form as dragons. Will begin to look for trouble and shake the earth everywhere. He said, break them before they destroy us all. That is the way I wrote it too. Break the heads of Leviathan. And Psalm 74 verses 13 to 15 was given me. Can you put it on the screen? Psalm 74 verses 13 to 15. Can you put it on the screen? Thou didst divide the sea by thy strength. Thou breakest the heads of the dragons in the waters. That's the scripture God gave me. Can you stand up on your feet for a moment? Can you tell God that tonight in the name of Jesus, let the breaking of the heads of the dragons in their waters for your sake begin, for my sake, begin to break every hydra-headed dragon that has faced me in my past life, in my past years, that tonight, this year, none of them will be standing to speak against my life. Can you just say that prayer for a moment for yourself? Let God arise and by the sword of his spirit, the spirit of his mouth, break the head of the dragon. The heads of the dragon. The word heads is used. That was why when we were praying, I used the word heads of Leviathan. The word heads is used. Of course, the second scripture is on the screen. Can you put it back, that prayer item on the screen? 
break the heads of Leviathan in the nations before it destroys us all. Psalm 74, 13 to 15. You will pray through all of those verses. And Jeremiah 14, 21 and 22. I'm going to come back to those scriptures later. You may be seated, please. The second prayer item is let the Lord steer and move in the deep on our behalf or on your behalf to recreate and create new things that pertain to our destiny. It's also on the screen. Let the Lord steer and move in the deep on our behalf to recreate and to create new things that pertain to what? Our destiny. So this first month, Vigil is giving directions for the year. And I'm going to end by praying for you. Then number three. In case you miss what I said, just look at the screen. You will quickly see the rest of the words there. Let him release his creative spirits. We told you the watchers are creative spirits. So if you were here during the teachings, you will know what spirits we are referring to. Watchers. So if you are writing, put in, in brackets, watchers. Let him release his creative spirits along with watchers to walk on our behalf. It's very important that the watchers go before us. This is a decree by the word of the Lord. The watchers will be repeating that in every one of your situation. It will enter into your soul and say, this is decreed by the, word of, by the word of the Lord. So give way for Kure. Make way for Kure. Make way for Kure. This is decreed by the word of the Lord. The watchers will go before us and do so many strange things this year. So watch us to walk on our behalf. To write or rewrite our calendars for the year. Some of you, your calendars need to be rewritten. To write or rewrite our calendars for the year. Of course, if you like, you can write that Daniel chapter 4 scripture. The decree by the watchers. The number 4. Let him create something for you that will change your life no matter what. You remember when we were talking during the crossover, we said this year is the year of Anna's prayer. That even if the thing does not exist, let the Lord create it for your sake. Now, that is the meaning of this number four. Let him create something for you that will change your life no matter what. So go and listen to the tapes of the crossover. Listen to the tapes of the retreat. And these prayer items will make a lot of sense. In fact, you will get more scriptures from them for this prayer item. So all of you watching on television and you have not gone through our retreat tapes. That started on the 28th of December to the 30th midnight. Go and watch those tapes. It will give you a proper background and prepare you for the fast. And everybody here, go listen to those tapes again and prepare for that fast so that you are ready. Number five. Worship God who sits on the throne of thrones and invite him, and in brackets, enter into covenant with him to rule as king of kings, the potentate God, in all of your affairs and existence. Then the second part of that is name stroke list them one by one, crowning him in covenant to take over. God needs you to empower him over your business, over every other sphere of your life, crowning him in covenant to take over. So list them one by one, name him over them, and let him run with them for the year. Number six, 
Ada one and Ada two signify a special leap year in the Jewish calendar. Tell God to activate the spirit of the year to ride to your help on your behalf and for family plus all that you hold dear. I didn't put the scripture on Deuteronomy. When God rode to their help, he shall ride to our help. So I will encourage the media people to put that scripture. When the Lord said he will ride to our help in the book of Deuteronomy. When Moses was prophesying and speaking, the God of Jeshuru will ride to our help. Number seven. Unlock the secrets of the Lord upon your life. Okay, let me put it in another way. Unlock the hidden secrets. Please add the word hidden secrets of the Lord upon your life. God told me that this year there are hidden secrets that it will unlock for each life. They are meant for you alone. And they will visit you alone. They are not going to visit you and your neighbor. It's not for everybody. So unlock the hidden secrets of the Lord upon your life. That is number seven now. Unlock the hidden secrets of the Lord upon your life. Then number eight, ask him to unlock the secrets of creation to serve you, for which the earth was created to bless you. All of creation was meant to serve you. They were meant to serve Adam. Hab was meant for healing and for food. So let them begin to open up for you every secret of creation for which creation was created. Let them be open to serve you properly and to bless you. Let the earth move on your behalf this year and the laws change. It's still part of that number eight. That is the conclusion of number eight. Let the earth move on your behalf this year and the laws changed. That means the laws of oppression will lift away, give way for the laws of provision and divine visitations. Let the laws change. The laws of oppression will give way for the laws of divine visitations. That means speak to the ordinances according to the book of Jeremiah 33 by which the earth was created. The ordinances of the moon, the ordinances of the day, the ordinances of the night, so if you are writing an explanation, write those explanations. Command the ordinances of the day and of the night to unlock now, to serve you. That is the explanation behind number eight. Let the earth move on your behalf this year and the laws changed. So call for the ordinances of day and night to speak on your behalf. You will add some of those scriptures when you put it, the media department, the pastor in charge knows what I'm talking about and he will fix those scriptures there for you. Number nine, Micah chapter seven, verses 11 to 12. Hosea 10, verse 12. And you must read them from, if you Google the CJB version, which is the Jewish Bible version that I was always reading one time and tormenting you with every time. Uh, you will see the translation there. But it says, tell him to break the grounds for you and enlarge your boundaries. Breaking your unused grounds, 
meant for you according to the Jewish Bible, uh, study Bible or CJB version in Jesus name according to that version of the Bible every one of us has an unused ground God has kept only to use to bless us nobody can take that promotion from us or that blessing so you will tell him to do that for you and I added keep asking until he answers so throughout those seven days keep asking insist push on until he answers because he's going to answer a lot of us number 10 worship him who sits upon the throne of thrones now it's worship time and ask him to release the chariot angels in Zechariah 7 verses 1 to 8 to go around the earth to rule and in brackets conquer and gather for you all that pertains to your life and blessings this year and the reign of God over you in Adonai's name that means God will fly over you he will reign over you to do what he must do his arrows will be scattered from the top of your head and he will do all the things he needs to do pray and call forth till it is done <laughs> you see there was a night vigil I attended a redemption camp and that their day is spent almost 45 minutes, one hour, just reading prayer items. And then left us on our own to pray for another one hour. And then just spoke for 15 minutes and decreed blessing and the meeting was over. The secret of that night vigil was in the prayer items. And many people shared testimonies. So can you patiently write these ordinances of your life? Uh, so that, because what you are carrying today are the keys for the year. They are your covering for the year. And God commanded me to do this item by item, not tell you to go. Some of you won't be able to go to the website after this meeting. But here you can write it down. So even if you can't connect in the website and you are not on the platform, any of the platforms, you will have the prayer items. Number 11, there are only 12 items. Number 11, praise ye the Lord from whom all blessings flow. So you just take, if you like, sing that sound directly. Praise ye the Lord from whom all blessings flow. But that was the way he put it, from whom all blessings flow. From whom all blessings flow. And just begin to speak in tongues and dance and use your taburi. And just praise the Lord. Declare his reign in all the earth. And in the midst of that praise, ask him to take over all the high places of your nation. Anywhere Satan, they do shakara. Any platform where Satan is sitting to make proclamation over your nation. Ah, set it on fire during this worship. Be worshiping as if you are playing and be setting them on fire, prophesying fire over them. Did you hear what I just said? I'm explaining tonight. Be worshiping as if you are playing and just be prophesying fire. Just be prophesying fire. And then after that one week, stand back and see what the Lord will do. So if there are high places in your village, high places in your community, include all of them, but over the high places of your nation and strategic portions, anything that is strategic in the economy, tell the Lord to take over. Anything that is a strategic portion for you, you have desired, just in songs, begin to prophesy over them. Make him plant peace and prosperity in your nation. Now, when you plant, it means you are forcing peace to come down. 
Make him plant peace and prosperity in your nation. Continue until he gives you peace. So if you use the whole night on one prayer item, don't worry. Don't be religious. If you use a whole day on one prayer item, don't worry about that. Continue the next day in the next prayer item. But just make sure that you pray until you have your peace. If you have to pray seven times a day to get your breakthrough, pray seven times a day. There is no timing for your prayer. If you will pray two, three times a day, pray two times a day. But you must pray all through that season. Number 12. Praise ye the Lord. Make the heavens and the earth and all creation join you to praise the Lord. There is a psalm like that. That decrees the heavens praise the Lord. The earth praise the Lord. The trees praise the Lord. I didn't have enough time to quote that psalm. Last year at a point, it was one of my favorite psalms. And I'll keep reading and just praising the Lord. Then I wrote a note under it. After this fast, whatever your soul desires that is a sweet ointment to the Lord and in tandem with his promises, you will get it in Jesus' name. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Those are the 12 prayer and praise items. Uh, he didn't make me go religious. There are so many powerful scriptures. It's a place in the book of Job where gold is found. And you can add that scripture to it. You can add so many scriptures to it. You can add some of the scriptures of the pit we prayed about tonight into these items. I've given the media the liberty to add one or two more from tonight's meeting into those items. I want us to stand up on our feet. Covenant keeping God, there is no one like you. Alpha and Omega, there is no one like you. Hallelujah. Covenant keeping God, there is no one like you. tonight, command the dew of heaven into my hands and into my life now. I ask you that starting from tonight, tonight's dew, let that be dew on the earth. Let that be dew in my life. I enter into this covenant of this season with the dew of heaven. I want to enter with the dew of heaven.
So command the dew. Can you ask the Lord now? Tell him you want to enter this season with the dew of heaven. The first thing that happened into the garden, in the Garden of Eden was that God commanded the dew, released the dew to water the whole garden. Even before Adam had started, and I hear the Lord tonight say, command the dew, let the dew of heaven go before me and water my garden. Water my life. The dew, the dew, the dew, the dew. How many of you brought an anointing oil here today? Bring it out. When you bring it out, anoint yourself directly and tell the Lord, command the dew. I anoint myself and I ask you to command the dew. Some of you travel with your oils. So if you travel with your own and you have it tonight or you bought one for me to bless, it is blessed already. Just open it. And command the dew. Tell the Lord, command the dew. I anoint myself into your dew. That the dew of heaven will water my garden throughout this year. I and the dew shall become one flesh. So anoint yourself. And if you didn't bring your oil when you go home, take your oil and anoint yourself. And pray the same prayer. Lord, the dew. Before Adam could do anything. The Lord released a dew in the garden. We are going back to the mysteries of the potented God. We are starting from the place of the dew. Can you say, Lord, I receive the dew in my life, in my dwellings, in my home, in my work, on my job. I receive the dew. I receive the dew to water my garden. The dew to water the earth on my behalf. The dew to water everything that you have ordained for my life. I receive the dew. Command the dew. Command the dew. Command the dew. Alpha and Omega. There is no one like you. Covenant, covenant keeping God. There is no one like you. destroy them. Every poison that is in the earth, whether by libation, whether by any enchantment, let the Lord release those poisons and begin to destroy them. Let the Lord begin to destroy them. Every poison, anybody who has spoken and dropped a word against you, let the Lord in the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Yeshua, destroy that poison now. In the name of Jesus Christ, let the Lord destroy that poison. Let the Lord destroy that poison. Any poison that has been fixed against you, let the Lord destroy that poison. 
whether by uh, libation, incantation, Number three, can you ask God that wherever your life is fixed to a time, a time, somebody has drawn a template and locked you up in a time space and shut you down inside that time. Let the Lord break that clock. Let the Lord break that time thing. There are people here that somebody has given them three months, four months, six months, and shot them in a prison. Today, begin to break those months. The time span, the time lock, break every time lock. Break every time lock. I'm just praying the prayer of the first month. Tell God to break the time lock. Break the time lock. <laughs> Lastly, can you ask the Lord to open the eyes of your revelation, the eyes of your understanding? Like I read during the end of year, that the Lord will open our revelation in his knowledge. Tell him to open your revelation in his knowledge that you may see clearly and that you will walk by knowledge, by an understanding of what his will is. Many of us are not walking in understanding of his will. In conclusion, ask him to forgive you for every disobedience last year in the things you know you ought to have done that you didn't do. Let him forgive you. Thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus Christ, can somebody say, Amen. Amen. You may be seated. Let me read this last scripture for tonight. And I will bless you and anoint those I need to anoint and we will close. The last scripture for tonight is in Psalms 103, verses 20 to 21. It's the first winds of the spirit and God is using it to unlock 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 and sanctify the year and it's important that we receive the right instructions on this in this fest and then we will take a thanksgiving offering I mean we will take a first fruit offering it's not a thanksgiving offering it's called the first fruit so you will take an offering representing the blessings of the first fruits of this month of January. I saw some people send first fruits either to our salary account or to some other accounts. If you sent it to my own account, all they wanted to express is the first fruit. The first fruit. The first fruit of every year belongs to God. So we will take a first fruit offering here tonight. We will take a first fruit offering here tonight. And that first fruit will not be used by the ministry. When I say by the, it will not be used for ministry work. We will take a first fruit offering tonight. But let me read the scripture for this evening. The last scripture for today. Hmm.
And I want you to hear the emphasis for tonight. Bless the Lord. You see, we are starting the season with blessing. But we are starting the season with the blessing of the instruments he uses or he will use this year. Angels are going to play a very important role in the shift that is coming. And I pray God that you will understand and see what I saw. I repeat, angels are going to play a very important role in our shift. Can you say, my father, let my angel plan for me be attached to me tonight. Meet with me here in this place. Now, in the name of Jesus. I didn't hear somebody say amen. amen. Say, meet with me in this place now. In the name of Jesus Christ. I didn't hear somebody say amen. amen. Are we ready tonight? He said, bless the Lord, ye angels that excel in strength. May your angel excel in strength on your behalf this year. Oh, that do his commandments now. You see, many of us talk about doing his commandments, but what we don't emphasize is the last bit of that. Hearkening unto the voice of what? His word. Now come. Listen. Follow me everywhere I go. When I turn left, turn left. Like a zombie. You hear what I said? Did you hear what I said? Oh yeah, come. Can you see that? Listen. Can you put that scripture back? Bless the Lord, ye, his angels, is directly referring to the host, to the multitude of angels, to personalities in the heavenly place that excel in strength, your muscle is strong, that do his commandments, hearkening to the voice of his word. God told me that this year, Come, come, I've not told you to go. An angel, every angel will be attached to a word of God. It's the word that will be pulling them into the situations. The word will push them into the situations. So it means that you must marry the world to get angels to follow you. Did you hear what I just said? You must marry what? Somebody said the word. You must attach yourself to the word, to a word. Because the angel will follow the word. It will not follow you. This year, angels will follow the word. They will follow the word. I kept hearing that until my, the whole house was full of glory. Until the whole place where I was praying was full of glory. I have read this scripture over and over before. I know it in my head. But I saw it different. God said this year, the angels will follow the word. So if you don't have a revelation of a word, a word is not dropped into your spirit, there will be no action from heaven. There will be no reaction by the host. Put back that scripture. Put back that. It says, bless the Lord, ye angels. They will follow the word as a blessing to God. I want to repeat. To show God that they bless him, they will follow the word from your mouth. To do the things that the word from your mouth is commanding them to do. The word from scripture that you quote from your mouth. That you speak from your mouth. So carry your Bible close by. 
when you pray, open a scripture, read it directly, and say, Lord, according to this word, let your spirit do this. The angel will say, what did he say? According to this word, do this for me. The angel will jump in. He said, Lord, just sit down where you are. Let me do that that they have asked you because they have said according to your word. So the angel gives God strength. The angel, the angel shows an excellence of strength, flexes muscles in order to bless who? God, to praise God. Ah! May this revelation be attached to your life. No word from your mouth will fall to the ground void this year. I decree that. Every word that comes out of your mouth, the earth will come alive carrying it out. I said the earth will come alive carrying it out. Today in the name of Jesus, himself took your infirmities and bore your diseases. Therefore, I command the angel behind that word to begin to lift away your infirmity and rebuke the disease in your body. In the name of Jesus Christ, as a praise to the master, receive your healing, receive your deliverance, receive your deliverance. I didn't hear somebody say amen. The angel will follow the voice. Note there is a voice there. There is a voice. He's not following the word. He's following the voice of the word. You must read it out. Proclaim it out. Did you hear what I just said? Not read it in your heart. Read it out as a decree. And this scripture must be the the core, the pivot around which you prophesy this year, around which you do your battle of faith this year. The meaning and revelation God has given us is the key unlocking everything this year. Is the one setting you on the platform of rulership this year. That is why I am emphasizing it. That is why I left it for the last. It's the core of the focus of tonight. Angels will follow the voice of the word of God. The voice of the word of God. The voice of the word of God. The voice. Whether the literal voice of God himself or the word that he has spoken in scripture which is from everlasting to everlasting. Angels will follow them. So you want to rule. Exact rule by those scriptures in Psalm 103 verse 20. Go to 21. What does 21 say? Bless ye the Lord, all his host. So throughout this year, all that the host of heaven, all the host of heaven will be doing is to bless the Lord. It's a simple year of the worship of angels. It's a simple year of the praise of angels. So if you have not learned how to praise you must learn how to do what? Praise this year. It is from the place of praise you will prophesy. That is why some of the prayer items take the, 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 the angle that they take. You, they take the form that they take. Some of the prayer items I gave you of the 12, they take that form. It is from the place of worship and praise that when you prophesy, it will happen. How many of you are catching the instruction? Mine is to tell you what the Lord says. Mine is to tell you what the Lord says. Look at it, put it back. Bless ye the Lord. All, all, not some. Whether you are the angel of war or you are the angel of praise. Whether you are just a messenger. There is a season, there is a second that comes that you respond to the Kalangu dance. The doom, 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 doom. Kaka, ka, doom, doom, doom. And you will start dancing. And when you finish dancing, when you turn around, you will give somebody a slap on behalf of God. And you will continue dancing as if you didn't do anything. Da dan 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 da da dan dan da dan da boy. And they won't notice. 
Did you hear what I said? Did you hear what I said? Did you hear what I said? <laughs> Listen. Me too, I sometimes watch films. So, especially when I'm having those long journeys and I get tired of either trying to read or meditate one scripture, I put a film to... We entered the plane with Ben Bruce uh, from Kenya to Nigeria. He kept announcing in the whole plane, I'm going to watch a good film. How many of you have heard of Ben Bruce? He's the owner of Silverboard. Cinema is part of... And I didn't know which good film he would watch on a Kenya Airways. He's a man who owns cinema houses and seen, has seen every kind of film in his lifetime. But he kept on shouting, I'm going to watch myself, uh, feed myself with a good film. Good film. They were all together with the former governor of uh, uh, Cross River State, Donald Duke. Good film. And I kept chuckling. I said, look at this cinema man. So films still excite him when he dwells in the midst of them every day. Listen to me because I'm trying to tell you something. I was watching one nice one. It's a Chinese one. I like Chinese films because they are sometimes mystical. And me, I am mystical. So when you add a little mysticality, <laughs> it just challenges me to say, God, if this, these people manifest demons like this, then I should be able to anikula kokuti, anikula eh? I should be able to eat fire and swallow it. I should be able to keep fire in my pocket because I am a high priest. How many of you understand what I'm trying to say here tonight? And there was this girl, small girl. She wore the dressing of a priest, a priestess. She was neither Shaolin or anybody. She just wore white and some blue. And she joined them in the battle. Nobody knew where she was coming from. Nobody knew where she was going to. She only revealed it to one person. And then all she does is do her hand like this and start a dance. Ah, everybody is fighting and killing each other. She is just dancing. Dancing. As if she's not seen anything. But once the sword approaches her, she will just jump off the place and suddenly she will bring out something and hit the person. The person dies and she keeps dancing. Not concentrating on the fight, but concentrating on the ritual of dancing. Now, listen to me. This is the mystery of the angels this year. Everything they do will be praising the Lord. When they slap somebody on your behalf, praise the Lord. When they kill somebody, it's praise the Lord. Did you hear what I said? When they take away sickness from your body, it's praise the Lord. Everything will be praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Somebody shout praise the Lord. This is one year, one year that God will not share his glory with any graven image. Anybody who boasts too much this year will die this year. Eh? The Herod spirit, anybody who speaks heartily, who speaks, go and write it. You will be calling me from different nations to tell me what you said has come. This man boasted like this at the beginning of the year. He is no longer this year. They will be crippled. They will be afflicted. They will be made sick. They will not see the end and the glory of the year. The jealous God. Because the host will be going there. All they will be doing is praise ye the Lord. From whom all blessings flow. From whom all blessings flow. From whom all blessings flow. Oh, praise ye the Lord. From whom all blessings flow. Praise Him forevermore. Hallelujah. Praise ye the Lord. From whom all blessings flow. From whom all blessings flow. From whom all blessings flow.
It is in those dances that your miracle will take place. Amen. You must learn to dance this year. You must learn to praise God in all situations. And then speak the word and let an angel just stick out a word and let an angel pursue it. The angel will keep on following the voice of that word. Following the voice of that word. Keep repeating it over that situation. And an angel will begin to eat up and blot out and make that situation disappear. Today in the name of Jesus, every miracle you have waited for, let the gates of that miracle open to you now. I said let the gates of that miracle open to you now. Let the gates of that miracle open for you now. In the name of Jesus, I decree that this month of February, the whole month, they are month of miracles and signs and wonders for you. I say, let your doors open this month in the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody wave and shout, Amen. Somebody wave and shout, Hallelujah. So you must learn to praise. You must learn to praise. He said, Bless ye the Lord, all ye his host. And then he goes on to say, ye ministers of his that do his pleasure. We are going to dwell, it is from the place of praise and the world that we will rule this year. Praise and the world. Praise and the world. Praise. Your prayers will be more of decrease from the world than supplication. Your supplication even when you supplicate, you ask. At the end of the asking, you will decree. And release the word by a decree. And an angel will follow it. How many of you understand the teaching of the Lord today? Can you just bless the Lord for tonight, somebody? Just give him glory. Give him praise. Just give him adoration. 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 Thank you, Father. We give you glory. We give you glory. We give you praise. We give you adoration. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. And I wrote in my notes here, once the angel can hear the spirit in your mouth, the spirit, because the word of God is spirit and life. Once the angel can hear the spirit in your mouth, that it is really from the depth of your spirit calling forth or speaking the word, he will react. Except if he does not hear the depth of the spirit speaking that word. That means if you say the word because you have crammed it, you know it, it won't work. But if you say it as a groaning, as a cry, even when it is praise, you praise from the place of a revelation. It's like when I stood up to come for this meeting, the drivers were waiting for me, they had called me, but I found myself sit down again, sit back. And I began to cry. I told you my heart was heavy. I said, Lord, how can I stand before the people without a comfort? In this, my depression, how can I speak to the people? And I started crying for myself. Literally, I began to cry. I said, Holy Ghost, help me. Lift me on my feet and make me walk this walk today. I wish somebody could replace me tonight because I was too heavy. I was depressed. I was afraid for the nation. Literally afraid. Don't say I'm a man of God. I don't fear. This night, I was afraid for Nigeria. When God puts a fear in you, ah, there is something, oh, something is terribly wrong. Something is going wrong. And tonight, I felt a fear. I've not felt that kind of fear. I, I say I have not felt that kind of fear. I felt a fear for Nigeria. I felt a fear for its future. And I didn't know whom to blame or who to look at. I just felt insecure in Nigeria. 
And when I would feel insecure in my own country, there is a problem. So I had to sit back and I said, my father, lift me out of this chair until I had grace from God to stand up. I couldn't stand up. That's why when I came down, they wanted to carry my Bible. I said, no, don't carry my Bible. Let me carry my cross. Let it comfort me. This is all the strength I'm holding to. I grabbed the Bible. I refused to give them the Bible. Normally, they will collect it. I refused. This is my strength today. But the Lord says, the angels will follow the voice of the word. They will follow your voice. They will follow your will. If it is not the follow the spirit from your spirit that is speaking. Second Thessalonians 2, 8, while you are standing. Just put it on the screen. The Messiah is going to walk this year by the spirit of his mouth. <clears throat> so your mouth has to become functional this year. Can you say, Lord, open the tongue of my mouth and let your word flow out. Can you put your hand on your mouth and say, Lord, I sanctify my mouth today. Open the voice of the tongue of my mouth and let your word let your word let your word let your word go forth let your spirit come out of my tongue in the name of Jesus Christ I didn't hear somebody say amen, amen. that word that tongue will be for signs and for wonders it says and then shall the wicked be revealed whom the Lord shall consume with what the spirit of his mouth and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming again I quote that Acts chapter 3 verses 20 and 21 when the time of refreshing will come he will send the Messiah Jesus Christ he will be the carrier of that refreshing when you open your mouth Jesus will ride in the winds of your mouth and he will come out as a consuming fire. He will come out as the spirit of your mouth. Your mouth uttering the voice, will, the voice of the word of God will change anything everywhere this year. So you better start exercising yourself to read. Start studying all the promises you have taken for granted. Start studying scriptures that refer to different parts of problems when you are in fear. There are, I think it is Gideon Bible. They have corners where they wrote in fear. Read this scripture. In uh, prosperity, read this scripture. If you want a uh, blessing, read this scripture. If there's an accident, read this scripture. Start from there. Start from those books that help you find the promises. Befriend them this year and then read them out. Line them out. Remember them when you pray. Start preparing for that seven days prayer by arming yourself with scriptures. And let the scriptures guide you in those seven days prayer. Can you just begin to thank God for tonight? Begin to thank him for tonight. Begin to thank him for tonight. 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 Thank him. Thank you, Lord. Can you begin to thank him for angels? Thank him for the work of the host of angels on your behalf this year. Thank him. Thank him. 
Can you ask the Lord to start setting boundaries around your life? And break away the former boundaries. Tell him to set boundaries that cannot be crossed. Can you put Psalms 104 verse 9 on the screen? Can you pray that psalm? I told you everything has to do with the word this year. Everybody can we read it? Thou hast set a bound that they may not pass. That they turn not again to cover the earth. That the rivers do not turn again to cover the earth. That wickedness do not turn again to cover the earth. Can you tell the Lord to set a bound against wickedness all around you? That it will not cover you this year. I mean, wickedness. We spoke about the pit earlier. Can you tell the Lord, set a bound around me? I ask as a request in this night vigil, set a bound around my children, set a bound around my business, set a bound. This psalm is one of the key psalms you must add to your prayer for those seven days. It's one of the key psalms. Thou set a bound that they may not pass over, that they may, that they turn not again to bite me. Affliction shall not bite you twice, shall not come. Father, raise a bulwark around the throne room that none will cross over, that no wicked person will prosper in this place. Every wickedness will be revealed. They will not come back to afflict us like they did last year. We raise a bound. Sicknesses that disturbed you last year, raise a bound. Call it by name. Raise a bound. Tell God I raise a bound against this particular sickness and get ready to share your testimony by the middle of the year that that sickness has not come back to you since you prayed this prayer this January. I raise a bound. Can you raise a bound against anything? Thieves kept stealing from you last year. Raise a bound this year. What is that affliction that was very consistent last year? Poverty. Raise a bound against poverty. Raise a bound. Raise a bound. Raise a bound. When my heart is overwhelmed, bring me to the rock that is higher than night. There is higher than night. There is higher than night. Hear my cry, oh Take on to my brain from the ends of the earth. Will I cry unto thee? Oh, when my heart is overwhelmed, lead me. And you tell the Lord, if there is already a wall around you that will not allow him enter, tell him to break the wall and replace that wall with his own, with his boundary. That means if there is a wall that has imprisoned you already, tell him, break the wall and build your boundaries around me. You must speak for yourself tonight. It's not meant for me to speak for you. Tell him to break the wall. Break the wall that that enemy has set. Put Psalm 74 verse 17 on the screen. And then put the HCSB version of that. Psalm 74 verse 17. The whole man Bible. Put it if you still have it on your system. 74 verse 17. That is higher than 
What does it say? Everybody look at it. You set all the boundaries of the earth. You made summer and winter. Can you tell the Lord, set boundaries for me throughout this year? Set boundaries that Satan cannot cross. Tell the Lord to set boundaries throughout this year. Throughout this year, let the boundaries watch over you. Set boundaries. He said you set boundaries. So winter cannot cross over into summer. Summer cannot cross over into winter. Your own winter cannot be swallowed by your summer. And your summer cannot be swallowed by your winter. It doesn't matter the climate change that is going on. Your own winter will remain winter. Your own summer will remain summer. Nothing will eat up your inheritance and your blessing in any of those seasons. Tell the Lord to set boundaries. Set boundaries throughout the year that will protect your, your promotion, your prosperity, your blessing. Set boundaries throughout the year. Set boundaries. Set boundaries. Set boundaries. Listen. If you know deep inside of you, you need help for this year. In all the seasons of this year. And you went to enter to covenant with the Lord for that help. It's the final prayer tonight. When you are coming, I want you to come out. But when you are coming, carry also your first fruit. We will still do the normal offering as a closing thing. But the first fruit or write what you will want to send as your first fruit. Some of you have already sent your first fruits because I see it when it clicks in. I pray every week for all those who give to this ministry. It's becoming a habit now because it is by what you give and by what God multiplies for us that the ministry has prospered. And so we don't take any offering lightly whether you give it secretly or openly, as long as it goes through the account and it clicks in, or you brought it directly and dropped it, it is prayed over. We will not take any offering this year for granted. So bring your first fruit as you come out or write it somewhere and tell the Lord you will send it after as you come out. But if you know tonight for this particular prayer item, you want God to set boundaries for you. You are tired of struggling. Before you get to a place, let God break the wall and you enter. Let God open the door. So let him set the different levels of his meeting place with you. I want you to come out. I'm calling the altar prayer. I mean the altar. I'm making the uh, calling for this prayer altar based on that Psalm 74. Spirit, open up. I am with the Father, open up. No boundaries, no limits, open up. Let deep call on to deep, open up. As you are coming out, can you ask the Father to open the gates of covenant for you? Covenant for you, your family, let him open those gates tonight. The Bible says, by every word of God shall man live. Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God shall man live leave. Can you tell God, tonight unlock the gates for me and my family. I have come in response to your word, for it is by your word that my life exists. By your word, I will find completeness and, con and I will find foreclosure. Today, 
If there is any ordinance in the air against me, my father, in the name of Jesus, break it. Today, help me out of my struggles. Relieve me of my struggles, of my pain. And open the gates of heaven to serve me this year. It's a year of doors. Open divine doors to serve me this year. Can you start that prayer for yourself? And tell the Lord to forgive you. For every, every, every. That this year, let the gates of iniquity be shut down for you. Compromise be shut down for you. Disobedience be shut down for you. Every gate that compromises God's word be shut down. Dullness of spirit. Dullness of hearing. Let it be shut down. Tell the blood of Jesus to wash you clean. Let the blood wash me clean. Let the blood sanctify me. Pray for yourself. Let the blood make me acceptable. I stand before the altar of the blood and I ask for the help of the Holy Spirit. Can you raise or just hold that first fruit and say, Heavenly Father, by this first fruit, sanctify my life and sanctify my year and redeem the whole year and set boundaries for me boundaries to protect me that affliction will not come to me affliction will not return to my house affliction will not speak in my house by the covenant of these first fruits Unlock every gate this year for me. In the name of Jesus Christ, unlock the gates. Break old walls. Break old gates. Break every prison house by which anything, any portion of mine has been imprisoned. Break them, break them, break them. Open your mouth and begin to ask God to break every prison house by which anything in your life has been imprisoned. Any pot that is still boiling against you, any family cause, break them. By this first fruit, redeem me from all. Sanctify me from all. Make me above, raise me above causes. Break causes. If you are praying with us from television, pray the same prayer. Ask the Lord to break causes and take your first fruit. Let the Lord break curses. Can you tell the Lord, by this first fruit, sanctify all things this year in my life. Unlock the gates of all the blessings this year. Redeem all the blessings this year. Establish the thrones of my kingship this year. Establish me across the borders. Establish me across countries, across nations, across rivers and waters, across streams, across fountains. Let there be limitation. Let there be no limitation. Let there be no limitation. Thank you, Father. Glory, honor, power, majesty oh, be unto God Amen Can you say by this first fruit I smite my waters in my life so if you were holding your hand just use that hand you don't need to use the money just use that hand that you used to represent the first fruit and just hit your head on top. Can you say by this first fruit I smite the waters upon my life this year. In the name of Jesus. Let them open their gates unto the Lord. 
Let them flow with the rivers of the blessings of God. I receive the grace of God above all powers and principalities. And I rebuke every poisoned water. I declare them healed. I declare them cleansed. I declare my prosperity healed. Released in the name of Jesus Christ. I rebuke sickness and disease. Get out of my life. Fall away. You shall not, you shall not return to me. I set boundaries against you. I set boundaries against my competitors and competition in the name of Jesus. Let the boundaries be set throughout the year. I receive the grace of God to walk through any door and enter into all prosperity prepared for me this year. I receive the throne of my installation, the throne of my kingship, and I give you glory. Let the mystery of the hand of the Lord lead me in the name of of, that is above every other name Jesus Christ my Savior and let somebody say Amen to that amen. can you begin to ask the Lord to enter into your house and begin to build up things let him build up things let him build create testimonies for you create testimonies for me Father enter my house create testimonies for me open a new gate open a new door Enter my house. The mark of the Lord go out with me tonight. Thank you, Father. I will anoint your head with this oil and you will touch the oil with your own hands. Anoint that seed you brought and drop it. If you held your hand for a seed, that you will send later. Anoint that hand that you were closing and holding. With that same oil, still anoint the hand. Because you are unlocking a gate. You are releasing the streams of God to set altars. Can you say, Lord, by this anointing, in the name of Jesus, unlock the secret places now into my life that you have prepared for my blessings. Let all things become possible. Let nothing be impossible. I receive the gift of the life of your marking to watch over my life throughout this year and set boundaries throughout the year. Blessings only will follow me. Curses will not repeat themselves. None will flow back to my boundaries. In the name of Jesus, anyone that crosses my boundaries with affliction, let the boundaries consume them by fire. Let the curse of fire follow them. Let them burn before my eyes. Let them burn before my eyes. Anyone that will steal my portion or steal my inheritance or take my place, let the fire consume them at the gates. Let boundaries be set upon them. By the covenant of this oil upon my life tonight, by my prayer and my oaths with you, by the ordinances of heaven, by your word that cannot lie, in the name of Jesus, let the Lord set boundaries by fire, by fire, by fire, and by a flaming sword. Anyone that crosses it, be burnt. Everyone that crosses it, die. Everyone that causes it be afflicted in the name of Jesus. I didn't hear somebody shout amen. amen. Therefore today, by this oil, I proclaim your release. And the seal of the ordinance of the God of heaven over your lives. In the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. I announce you now unto your release in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. You will touch it and anoint your gift in the name of Jesus Christ. 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 
in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. You will touch it and you will anoint your gift and you can drop the gift and go to your seat. In the name of Jesus and just begin to bless God on your seat. As Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Yeah. the gift and then you will send it in the name of Jesus don't claim the altar please just walk and go back
Henceforth, none of these ones upon whom the oil have touched their heads today in one way or the other shall walk on the ordinary ground anymore. Amen. That from now, Lord, every step they take, it will be in the hands of the Holy Spirit. Every step they take will open a new heaven over them, a new earth over their lives. A blessing will visit them. Every step shall become an ordinance of heaven in the name of Jesus Christ. Therefore, tonight, Whatever is blessed in the heavens, whatever is blessed beneath the earth, whatever is blessed in the deep sea, whatever is blessed even amongst the dead, that is an unfinished business that was ordained for the living to finish. Rabo Sekentere Bahanta. 
Let the Spirit of God rest upon your lives and your heads now to fulfill the prophecy of blessing this year. To fulfill that blessing in Jesus' name. Wherever you enter, the gates of heaven will open that door for you. Your spirits will not see affliction anywhere. Afflictions that overcame you, I decree tonight that the door for their entrance into your, their re-entry into your life is shut forever. They will not find their way into your lives again. In the name of Jesus Christ. And the one that was already there before you came tonight, I command them to lift away out of your life now. And I command the healing of God to go through your body now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Be healed now. Be healed. Be healed now. Be healed. Be healed now. Be healed. In the name of Jesus. Can you shout, I receive my healing. In Jesus' name, can somebody shout, Amen. Today, I hear the Lord say for somebody tonight, the affliction of poverty is cut off from your life. Strange supplies and provisions and open doors has begun from tonight. I see a decree go forth for the gates of supply to open to you. So receive your open doors now and receive your supply in the name of Jesus. Your feet shall be guided to your plenty and your plenty shall be guided to your feet. Let there be a marriage between the two of you in the name of Jesus. Ah! I hear the Lord say, the thief that stole from you shall eat poison. One of them will suddenly die. And I hear that I hear that, that in the next 14 days, one of them will suddenly die. Because you are the only one that one was feeding on. And because the gate is shut, the sentence for that person is death. So that one must die in, within these 14 days. Receive your miracle in the name of Jesus Christ. There is somebody here you couldn't stand straight. Your knee will be shaking, your leg will be shaking, and you cannot. I saw the Lord stretch out that leg, and I saw things fall out of that leg. Receive the stability in your leg now. And receive that miracle in that leg in the name of Jesus. I hear the Lord say, you can test it by kicking it out. And you can stand and you will find out that you are not falling or you are not shaking. Receive that strength in your bone. Receive that power in your life. Receive the miracle in your body in the name of Jesus Christ. I didn't hear somebody shout, Amen. Somebody wave to the Lord and bless the Lord and shout hallelujah. There is somebody, I want to be able to describe it and I'm finding it difficult. You have been asking, I don't know what strength for which part of your body. Strength.
I don't know why that part of your body cannot carry you properly without pains. But I saw the Lord break the yoke of that pain and release that part of the body. And the strength you ask for is going through you now. Just breathe in and breathe out three times and receive your miracle and deliverance right away, right now. Receive that miracle in the name of Jesus Christ. Can you breathe in and breathe out three times and shout, Amen. Great is Jehovah. Great is Jehovah. Great is Jehovah. Great. song throughout this year great is Jehovah that was a song God gave me many many years ago when we first started ministry as we saw his great power everywhere it was a popular song in throne room once the spirit takes me over and you hear great is Jehovah Miracles begin to happen. Signs begin to take place. Great is Jehovah. And I don't know why God is starting it in this first month of the year. Great is Jehovah. Great is Jehovah. Great I saw God pulling something out of the throat of somebody. I don't know what was there. It, it was like a carpet or a sandpaper. You know, something of that size. And he was drawing it out of your throat to release your voice and heal you. And It's a God, God, God thing. What they call God choral. God choral. It has to do with the belly of the throat there. And God pulled it out and healed you of that infirmity. In the name of Jesus, receive life back on that throat. That belly, that beneath the throat. Can you swallow in a saliva there? And just bless the Lord and give God his glory. Kindness. My giver, Allah, my giver, Allah, my giver,
that song came to me in a dream many years ago. I remember it was in a dream. And it kept repeating throughout the night. I couldn't sleep. In my subconscious, it was going on. Great is Jehovah. Great is Jehovah. Great is Jehovah. And I hear it as my last song tonight. And I give him glory. Because his greatness is gone before us. His greatness, his greatness shall lead us all through this year. Father, we give you the glory for tonight. Somebody give him praise. Go ahead and give him a big clap of praise, somebody, and just give him praise. Just give him praise. Give him a louder clap offering. Give him a louder praise. Can you bless him for the miracle? Listen, when I was telling you to give, to give him praise, it was like from the waist, the waist level, down to the first part of the, what do you call it now? The first part of your, your lap, the lap. Your laps, the first part, from the waist, it was like, like the Lord pulled a curtain from somebody. And I don't know what pains or disease or infirmity had afflicted you around those regions, including your private parts. God just pulled them out and healed you from them. Receive that miracle right now. You will not see those signs and symptoms again. You are delivered, you are healed, you are set free. That witchcraft that was used to smite you as a punishment is broken in Jesus' name. Receive your miracle in the name of Jesus Christ. Can somebody wave and shout, yes! Just taking a deep, deep breath and just bless the Lord. Just give him glory. Tonight, if you are not able to share your testimony, you must share your testimony in the coming meetings. Because God said in every meeting, there will be a miracle. Bring the people. Bring the people that need a touch of the Lord. Whether in salvation or in other signs, the desire of the Lord. In afflictions, in their turning of their seasons, bring them in these meetings, these winds of the Spirit, and let the Lord visit with them. And let the Lord show them His great hand and salvation. Father, we give you glory. We say thank you. We thank you for a good year. Can you begin to bless God for a good year? Just tell Him thank you for a good year. Thank you for the year of wonders and miracles and signs for my life. I thank you for them all. I give you glory and I give you praise. And today I pray for the nations that are connected tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ, I break all the darkness in your nation and I release your nation to see light this year. I release your life from every entanglement of darkness. I break curses over you. Everything that slowed down your life, I release the power of acceleration. I release the power of healing. Receive it in your nations now. Receive it in your life now. I break the curse that was placed upon you by an old man. The yoke of that old man is lifted away from your head Amen. and you are set free in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. By the sacrifice of the blood that you will be eating, let all the years you have lost be regained in one month, in two months, and at most in three months in the name of Jesus Christ. Let that decree follow you and Jesus. I saw the Lord quickly hit somebody and then lay hold on the hand of that and jack the person up. I don't know why the Lord had to jack that person up. The evil that held you leprous in one place is broken now. You are free in the name of Jesus Christ. Let those legs receive back their power. Receive back their grace. Be free. Be free. 
Whatever you were leaning on, the yoke is broken. That thing is removed from you. Can you bless the Lord somebody? Give him praise. Give him adoration. I can see the goodness of the Lord. I can see the goodness of the Lord. I don't know how you sing that song. Is it the, turning around, turning around, turning around for my... I can see everything turning around. See everything turning around. See everything turning around. Oh, I can see everything turning around. See everything turning around. Chief of yours, just use it on your head and use it to just clean your face. The face they saw you coming with is not the face you are going out with. Everything that connects with you will connect with you under a new face and a new covenant. I didn't hear somebody say amen. amen. I saw within the next one week, visitors come to some of us. Amen. And I saw them coming to open a door for you. Amen. I saw them bringing blessings for you. Amen. Receive your miracle in the name of Jesus. Amen. I was with somebody in Kenya three days, four days ago. I'm not mentioning the name. And I told the person, that a visitor was coming from afar off. Sincerely, I saw it, and I spoke it by faith to build that person a factory for the future. A factory that long after is going to take care of the nakedness of the poor. And the person was coming to build it for free and was not going to ask for anything. That he was a messenger from heaven. You know, sometimes you just need to test God and, and just know that God is good. I saw it in an open vision as I was speaking. I saw it. And I was afraid, but as usual, I spoke. And the person quickly took, because that is somebody you should not play with, quickly took and started writing it down. That was when I knew I was in trouble because the person will ask me, the thing didn't come to pass. And I said, between now and the next three weeks, at worst three months, that thing is going to take place. And I left. Flew back to Nigeria, arrived in Nigeria the day before yesterday, I think, or sometime. And then yesterday, I saw on my phone a WhatsApp message. 
The man from a far land arrived 9.30 last night. We are in a meeting right now. We've been in a meeting. That messenger has come and he's doing exactly what you said he will do. Today, your own messenger will meet you. Now, I'm telling you a miracle that happened three days ago. I'm not telling you a miracle of last week or one year ago. I just came in from the journeys. From Tanzania into Kenya and Kenya to this place. Ah, it shall not be spoken that it is in this house that we lack strength. Therefore, let the miracle of the Lord remove the veil from you and the miracle of the Lord visit you. Can you use that handkerchief to just clean your eyes again and open the gate for your eye? That's why I said touch the oil and just clean your eye. When you step out, it's a new covenant and a new face that will attract and will pull and will establish divine miracles and divine power in your life. Can you say amen? amen. Let's give Jesus a big clap for free. You may be seated quickly. Atubo, bring that child quickly because I have to leave now. The, there was a child of promise that God said after seven years, the child had to be brought to the altar. And the father reminded me last year, and just yesterday night, he reminded me early this year, then yesterday night he called me and said, we are on our way. And I said, I'd forgotten. Because I've gone through so many things and so many journeys, prayed for many people, and I don't keep things in my head if you don't keep reminding me. I said, but all the same come, even though we didn't put them in the program. That's the young miracle. Can't you see? How many of you have seen me with a dress like this? If you didn't see me, I wore a dress that had this golden collar in uh, Tanzania. Tanzania, cool. With another golden hand. You don't know, get golden hand. You get golden button. You don't get golden hand. And I look like a prince from some first world super country. You know, coming from a royal family, so the thing was laid like that. I have that dress. And everybody was talking about it. And to frighten and intimidate everybody, I put on a red beautiful cap. You know this cap, red. By the time I wear that, the Lord of the manor has come. And from the, was it the airport or somewhere? They started taking pictures with me. As if I became a frame, everybody should be framing. And so I had to pray in my heart, Lord, let them not see the dress, let them see the anointing. Because if it was attracting them too much, then I should be dressed like this for the meeting. That will not attract anything except the glory. And this young man has come as a prince today. And is dressed as one. Follow me up here. Come. Because today is your day. My father, as Samuel was brought to you. By Eli the priest. You spoke a mystery about this young man. And you said his life shall be kept by covenant. And by covenant shall he be ruled all the days of his life. And that the covenant of greatness will follow him. Today, I bring him to your holy of holies. That only one or two people have ever entered into apart from myself. And today, Lord, I step into these holy grounds with him and I say, here is your own. I anoint this young man as a king and a priest 
but particularly as a prince of Zion. That by this oil, you will carry a crown that is hidden inside your spirit. And by that crown, you will be announced to the nations. Your spirit will speak everywhere you enter without saying a thing. Favor will unlock your doors. Favor will speak for you without uttering any word. Great grace will speak for you. You have fulfilled covenant today, therefore I anoint your breath, your nostrils. Can you breathe in in the name of Jesus and breathe out? Breathe in again. Breathe out. Breathe in a third time. In the name of Jesus, breathe out. I therefore hallow you as kings are hallowed. And I, I say you will walk the earth. The ordinances of heaven will keep your feet. The secret of the law will hide you and sustain you. You will rise therefore. These markings of the Lord shall keep you and sustain you. Therefore Lord, I seal his life amongst the living in heaven. And on earth, he will walk the earth as a heavenly being. And the secret of the Lord shall be with him all the days of his life. And Lord, this soul will not see affliction. You will protect the hidden ordinances of heaven over him. In the name that is above every name. In Jesus' name. And the congregation will say, Amen. Young man, you may rise now. Praise the Lord for he is good and his mercies endure forever. Praise the Lord. was born to be a sign for your family. A sign of covenant between the God of heaven and you. And today, I anoint you and I call for that covenant to be consummated now. I call for that covenant to put the seal over your lives in the name of Jesus. Therefore, from today, your seasons will change forever. And the great grace of God will speak in your life. In the name that is above every name. The name of Jesus. Therefore I release you now to wear the crown of glory that this child was to bring upon you. You will rise from now. The veil over your ministry is falling. And a new, you are ushered into a new ministry. A new day and a new glory. In the name of Jesus Christ. Therefore today, I hand over to you the sign of your covenant. You will keep him and teach him the ways of power, spiritual and physical. And the wisdom, the hidden wisdom that others don't see will come to him first. He will be a creator. He will be an inventor. 
He will be a pace setter. Therefore, from now, henceforth, you can clean your face. The Holy Spirit shall become your dwelling place. For the sake of this child, blessing will fill you on every side. Rise now. For a new thing has begun to speak. Enter into a new place. I say enter into a new place. I repeat for a last time. Because I, saw, I see some mighty doors. It's like the huge doors from the earth into the heavens. It's like the great doors of the new Jerusalem. I saw a mighty angel or a spirit push them open. And I can hear the doors creaking and cracking because of weight. And the two doors, two doors that were close together were both opened. And a great light flooded inside. I release you through those doors now into your great light. Therefore, I unlock and close up that which should be closed in the past. Amen. I unlock you to the secrets of the future. Amen. Rise now and enter into that new place Amen. and enjoy the new glory. In the name of God the Father, in the name of God the Son, in the name of God, the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name. Amen. You may rise, please. So help her to rise. Aha. Whatever seed you brought for the child, you will just drop it separate there. Madam, congratulations. Atubo. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I seal this as a covenant before you for eternity. For the life of this young man. And it shall be a memorial between you and them and the family for eternity. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Young priest, congratulations. Well done, eh? Let's put our hands together for Jesus, somebody. This is the second time on this altar since this ministry started that a young man will be brought back after seven years that carried the covenant of seven years. I think the first one was from Port Harcourt, and they traveled all the way from Port Harcourt here. Oh, uh -huh. And they brought the child big. The boy was, you know, already growing muscles. Seven years, huge young man. And we danced and we sang and anointed the young boy here. And this will be the second time the Lord is raising this kind of covenant. And I don't know why God is starting the year and the first meeting like this. And the Lord is putting us on a seven day fast. There is something about kingship and prince and the, and is it princehood, not priesthood, being prince. All of you are going to walk straight this year. There is something about that that will follow you everywhere you enter. This child is a sign to us that this year is a year of great things. This year, I will dedicate so many things in your lives. Many major blessings, landmark blessings. You will bring them here. We will pray over them. This year, don't be shy to bring major landmark blessings. We'll be doing one 
by the end of the coming month, by the end of February, we'll be doing another one here, Landmark Blessings. Today I release you to your landmark blessings in Jesus' name. Now let's bring out our offerings. I will hand over the mic. We will take that song. And that's the end of the meeting tonight. I'm not praying another prayer. And nobody is going to share the grace. That handkerchief where you don't clean your eye with. Eh? Your eye will shine everywhere. You will see the thing where they don't hide that you are not supposed to see. And where the blessing is, your eye will carry you go there. I didn't hear somebody say amen. amen. How many of us have been blessed today? Next month, February, gather everybody you can gather. And those of you who can join us for the first of Ada in Abuja, do make a sacrifice to come. It will be worth it. Because we are going to do some mighty things in that first of Ada. And those of you from Abuja, get the whole city to come celebrate the Lord and the Messiah in this new year. And make sure that it's properly done. If you have given them tent, go and change it immediately. Announce it as ninth this time around, both on radio and everywhere. Let the radios carry it. I hope you can hear me. Money is not an issue this year, so let nobody tell me about money. I repeat, money is not an issue this year. I have a sign for that. You see, our builders are ba back to work. I won't tell you how many hundreds of millions I gave them to come back to work. So money is not an issue this year. Uh, I'm not saying come to ask me for money. God gave money for building, and he's giving money for other things. Whatever he gives us money for, we will use for that thing. Did you hear what I said? It, the one he will give us for distribution. We will distribute. You will see. You will see. I won't tell you which one so you don't start coming to beg. But the one he gives us on the altar here for distribution, we will distribute. So let's take a wonderful song to the Lord and you will bring your offerings. Can somebody take away that first fruits offering and separate it, please, quickly? Uh, take it away and separate it and let the normal offering take over. The hand of the Lord go with you everywhere and showcase your glory wherever you enter. In the name of Jesus Christ, can somebody wave and take in a deep breath and say, Amen. You will be a wonder to behold. I say you will be a wonder to behold. Somebody say, Amen. I can see everything turning around, turning, turning, oh. turning, turning, turning around for my yeah, I can see everything turning around, turning, turning, eh. turning for my good, yeah, I can see everything turning around, turning, 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 eh. turning around, turning, turning, turning Jesus Christ is a mighty God, hallelujah. Go they move me, turn it around. Make 
make me 